اللي امري وقال له قلت من لساني يسكب قال My sisters and my brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's a great pleasure for me to be here in Japan, especially the city of Tokyo. And the topic of my talk this evening is Muhammad. Peace be upon him, the mercy to humanity. Will you be translating together or? I, I won't do that. Could no, you be translating? Now, just now. Short or in the ending you will short? Um, will you I translate in the ending? Short, or? short it. So will short. you translate in the ending or? No, now. Okay. Hon jitsu wa wa tsumari itadakimashite arigatou gozaimasu. Mina sama wo islam no挨拶、アスラマライクンバルマトルワバロカトでお迎えしたいと思います。日本に入ること、日本に訪れることができて大変嬉しく思います。本日のトピックは預言者ムハンマドさんは彼の上に平安あれは全人類の慈悲ということについ
しかしながらムハマド預言者様以前に使わされた首都,によ首都の方たちがに従った人たちはただ単にその部族の方たちが従っただけです。But the Quran says that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was the last and final messenger. It's mentioned in Surah Azab chapter 30 verse number 40. Ma kana Muhammadun aba adim min jalikum walaki Rasulullah wa khatamin Nabi wa kana Allah bi kulli shayin alima. That Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the father of you any men. He's not, the, he's not the father of any of you men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of Prophet. クロアンにおいてムハマド預言者様は人類の父というわけではなくすべての人類に使わされたメッセンジャー預言者であると明記されています。Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humanity. ムハマド預言者様は最後でして最終の預言者様であるためアラブのムスリムに使わされたという預言者ではなくすべての全人類に,よってに向けて使わされた預言者様になります。クロアンにおいて、ムハマド預言者様を使わせたということは、全人類及び全すべての生き物に対する慈悲であると明記されています。So Almighty God Allah Subhanahu wa Taala clearly mentioned in the Quran that Prophet Muhammad be upon him has been sent as the mercy to the whole of humanity. ですから、クロアンに明らかにあるなっているように、アンラーはムハマド預言者様をすべての人類に対する慈悲として使わされているのです。アンラー repeated the message. Allah says in Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28, Mama at Salaka illa kafatel nas, Bashiro wa Naziro. Wala kinna aksab nasila ayamun. That we have sent thee not but as the universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin, but most of the human beings yet do not know. Quran no 34, 28, says, Muhammad the Yogan Shah Sama, O. 慈悲として使わせそれをただし人はすべての人類がそれを認めているわけではございません This talk of mine Muhammad peace be upon him the mercy to humanity can go on for hours and days together there is so much of matter but for brevity I will divide the talk into three parts 本日のトピックを3つに分けてお話ししたいと思います。The first part I will be speaking about what is mentioned by our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. まず最初に、ムハマド預言者様がどのようなものであるかをクロアンに,に基づいてお話しします。The second part I will be dealing About the sayings and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which are mentioned in the Sahih Hadith. And in the third part, I'll be speaking about the statements of the non Muslims, what they have to speak about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. そして最後に、ムスリムではない人がムハマド預言者様についてどのように申しているかをお伝えいたします。First, we'll discuss About what does our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have to speak about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Kalam, chapter number 68, verse number 4. Allah says, Innaka lalakum. Khulukum azim. That indeed, verily, in the Prophet is. The best pattern of conduct. Verily, in the Prophet is the highest standard of conduct. Quran 6, 68, 4 verse number 4, Allah says, "Allah says, 'I am the highest standard of conduct. I am the highest standard of conduct. I am the highest standard of conduct.'" Allah says in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 21, Allah says. La lakum, lakum, fi Rasulullah Husna, Husna. That verily in the Prophet you will find the best example. 
また第33章21節の中でアラ,アラはムハマド預言者様は最も,最も良い模範だと伝えていらっしゃいます。アラは最も良い模範だと伝えていらっしゃいます。アラは最も良い模範だと伝えていらっしゃいます。またクロアンの第94章4節の中でアラはマハマディ・ゲンシャさんを最も高い位置に引き上げられたと伝えています。アラは最も高い位置に引き上げられたと伝えています。アラは最も高い位置に引き上げられたと伝えています。アラは最も高い位置に引き上げられたと伝えています。That if you love Allah, Allah is saying to the Prophet, say, if you love Allah, follow me. And Allah will love you and will show mercy on you. また、これは第3章、第31節において言っています。に書かれています。言ってやるがいい。あなたがもしアラを敬愛するならば、私に従い。そうすれば、アラもあなた方を目であれ、あなた方の罪を許される。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number one thirty-two. Allah says, "Adi Allah, Adi Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger, and He will be merciful on you." また同じように第三章第第三十二節の中で、アラに従い、アラに従うことで、アラはあなたを愛されると申しています。Allah says in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter number thirty-three, verse number six, that The Prophet, for the believers, they love him more than, than their own selves. また第三十三章第六節において言われています。アラ,アラを自分の母よりも愛せよ。Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number one fifty nine, says. That had it not been on the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He made you gentle, or if you would have been harsh and tough on them, they would have broken apart. また、アルラはクラーの中で親切でいること、そのことによってあなたは守られると言っています。Here Allah is saying that He made Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam merciful, kind, and gentle. If the Prophet was harsh, And if he was stern and tough, surely the people would have been broken and no one would have been stayed close to him. So the Prophet made him merciful, kind, and gentle. So, Muhammad Yogi Nisha Sama was Allah and the Sinsets 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 and the Sinsets. For this mission in the Quran in Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 34. It says that the good is not like the evil. Repel evil with something better. And to you who is an enemy, he will become a devoted friend of yours. The day 31st, 34th, it's not like the evil. Allah no yakso tsukwa shinsu de de anata gata wa genzai no sekats ni azama kare te wa ikenai. Let's try and understand. What is mentioned in the hadith, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad regarding his mercifulness? It is mentioned in Sayyid Muslim, volume number 6, hadith number 6631. It says, That when the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was troubled and harassed by the opponents, many of his companions told him that why don't you pray to Allah? Why don't you tell Allah and you curse these opponents? So the hadith says that when the Sahaba told the Prophet that why don't you curse the opponents and your enemies? So, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied that I have not been sent as an invoker of curses, but I have been sent as a mercy to humankind. 
ムスリムによるハディス第6番の661によりますとサハーバたちがムハンマド預言者様になぜアラーに敵を打ち負かすようにお願いしないのかと伝えたところムハンマド預言者様は私は全人類の慈悲として使わされたのであると答えられました。He said he was sent as a mercy to the whole of humankind. このハディースから分かることは、ムハンマド預言者様は慈悲として使われされた。それはムスリムに対してだけではなく、全人類、彼に対する敵対者に対しても慈悲として使わされたということが分かります。<笑> It's mentioned in Sai Muslim, volume number 6, Hadith number 6030, that Prophet Muhammad said that if you show not mercy, then the Lord will not show mercy on you. サヒフムスリムによりますと、慈悲を示すことによって、アラーは慈悲をあなたに返されると伝えています。It is mentioned in a say hadith of Tirmidhi, volume number four, hadith number one, nine, two, four, where the Prophet peace be upon him said that if you show mercy on the people, then he will show mercy on you. If you show mercy on the people of the world, then person who's in the heaven, he will be merciful towards you. またハディーショによりますと、あなたが人々に慈悲を示すと、人々はあなたに慈悲を与え、また世界に慈悲を示すことによって、天国があなたに慈悲を示すと伝えています。So the Prophet always advocated and taught that the Muslims should be merciful to all the human beings. ですから、ムスリムと、ムスラム教徒、ムスリムは全人類に対して慈悲を持たなければなりません。It is mentioned in Sai Bukhari, volume number four, Hadith number 3231 that the wife of the Prophet said, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She asked the Prophet, that Was there any day in your life which was worse than the day of the battle of Uhud? Which is the worst day of your life? So the Prophet said, Yes, it was the day of Al Aqaba in Taif. ブハーリーによりますと、預言者ムハマド様の妻のアイシャが、アイシャ様がムハマド預言者様にウフドの戦いより悪い日がありましたでしょうかと聞いたところ、ムハマド預言者様の答えは悪魔の日だと答えられました。And when the Prophet went to deliver the message of Islam to the people of Taif, they harassed him, and they did not listen to the message, they did not, they did not obey the Prophet, and some of the narrations say that they even stoned him. It was the worst day of his life. ハディスによりますと、ムハンマド預言者様の言葉を受け取らず、それに敵対し、さらに石を投げた日、それが最も悪い日だということです。Then when the prophet was sitting his head down in sun, suddenly he finds a shade of cloud over his head, a shade of silver cloud. And when he looks up, he sees the archangel Gabriel. He sees Jibril a.s. salam. And Jibril a.s. says, That Allah has witnessed what they did to you and how they behaved with you. So Allah has sent the angels of mountain to help you. And Jibril a.s. he calls the angel of mountain. Muhammad a.s. said, I'm going to go to the sky. I'm going to go to the sky. I'm going to go to the sky. 様は伝えましたアラーはあなたの行動を見ているあなたが何をしたかを見ているそのために私を使わされたということです。When the angel of mountain comes, he says to the prophet that your Lord has sent me and he has witnessed and heard how did the people behave with you. You, you command what should I do? Whatever you say I will do. Do you want me to bring both the mountains of Makkah together? Do you want me to get both the mountains close to either? So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings from the loyals of these people a generation from these people who will worship Allah and will not associate partners with Him. Muhammad Yagan Shah Samasari Nitaish de Kotai Rademashtas. Tashanga Nozumunua Karela Nakani Allah Nitaish de 
帰依する人が出てくることです。Imagine the prophet s a y it was the worst day of his life. Imagine if it was the worst day of your life and if someone wants to help you and say that I can crush the enemy to death, here the prophet says, don't put them to death, but I want Allah to bring from their loins, from their generation, from their children, a people who will believe in Allah and who will not associate partners with God. 人生最悪の日にあなたを助けようと言ってくれたものに対してムハマド預言者様はそ,このその助けを望むのではなくそれ彼らの中から自分の敵対者の中からアンラーを信じる人が出てくることを望まれたのです。It is mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, Vaum No.8, Hadith No.6397, that one of the Sahabas approaches the Prophet and says that the people of Daos they did not agree with the message of Islam. And they rejected the message. Why don't you curse? Curse these people of Daos. And the Sahaba, they thought now the Prophet would curse the people of Daos. But the Prophet said, O、oh、Allah, guide the people of Daos so that they come close to us. The Prophet said, Give Hidayah, give guidance, but he did not curse them. Buhari, Nyur, Hadith, Nyur, m a s t o アンラー、ムハマド預言者様の言葉を信じてそれどころかそれを拒否する人々に対してサハバたちがどうするかぜひそれ敵対者たちを打ち負かすように言った時にムハマド預言者様はそアンラーに対して願ったことは彼らが導かれますように彼らに被害がありますようにということでした。The Prophet peace be upon him, history and hadith tells us that even prayed for the staunchest enemy of Islam and this is mentioned In a Sayyid Hadith of Tirmidhi, volume number six, Hadith number 3681, that the Prophet prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, O、oh、Allah, give guidance at least to one of the two staunchest enemies of Islam, the two Umarain, that is Abu Jahl or Umar bin Khattab, brother r a w a n The Prophet prayed to, to God that among the two staunchest enemies, At least give Hidayah, give guidance to one of these two enemies. Both the name was Umar. One was Abu Jahl, his nickname, and the, and the other was Umar bin Khattab. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave guidance to Hazrat Umar bin Khattab, who later on became the second Caliph of Islam. Hadith in your master Muhammad, you can't say that Allah is not the same. Allah is not the same. Allah is not the same. 2人のうち1人にぜひアッラーのお導きをお授けくださいと願いましたその2人とはアブ・ジャハイルとウマル・ホタイブですこの中でウマル・ホタイブ様にアッラーの導きがもたらされ彼は2代2代の正当カリフとなりました It is further mentioned in the hadith of Sai Muslim volume number 5 hadith number 4589 which is also mentioned in Sai Bukhari hadith number 4372 That once the Sabas they capture a person by the name of Sumama from Yamama. And this person, he had killed several Muslims. He had butchered and killed several Muslims. So they arrest him and they get him to the Prophet. And when they get him to the Prophet, the Prophet says that. What should be done to you, O Umama? So Umama replies that if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. But if you free me and if you want ransom, I can give you all the wealth. And if you forgive me, You will, be forgiving, you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful to you. So the Prophet gives him milk and he drinks the milk. And after drinking, he licks his, his lips. That means he wasn't fully quenched his desire. So the Prophet tells the Sabas to give one more ball of milk. Again, he licks his lip after drinking. Then the third, then the fourth. After the seventh ball of milk, he does not. Lick his lip, the Prophet says, Take him away. The next day, when he comes, again, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asks him the same, same question O、oh, Amama, what should be done with you? 
たあるハディスは伝えていますムハマド預言者様のもとにムスリムを多く殺したオマーマという人が連れてこられましたムハンマド預言者様は彼に対して私はどうあなたをどう扱ったらいいかと尋ねたところオマーマは私はたくさん殺していますから殺されたところで文句は言いませんまた私を自由にされるために何か身の代金を要求するのであればもちろんそれを支払いますまた許してくださるのであればそれは非常にありがたいことですということでしたムハンマド預言者様は彼の望む通りに彼がお腹いっぱいになるまで満足するまでメルクを与えましたそして彼はそのままそこを離れまた次の日やってきてムハンマド預言者様と同じ会話を繰り返します Again, Umama, he repeated the same answer that if you kill me you would not be doing wrong because I killed many Muslims and if you want ransom I can give you all my wealth and if you forgive me and free me you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful Again, the Prophet gives him milk, he drinks it, he licks his lip, the second ball, the third ball, the seventh ball. After the seventh ball, he does not lick his lip, and the Prophet says, Take him away. 同じ質問が繰り返され、殺されてもいい、あるいは身の代金を支払うのでもいい、自由にしてくれるのであれば、それは大変ありがたい。こうして今回はミルクを3本まで飲んで離れていきました。The third day when Sumama comes, again the Prophet asks him that. What do you have to say? What should be done with you? So he says and repeats the same answer. That if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. If you are ransom, I can give you my wealth. If you forgive me, you'll be forgiving a person who's grateful. And the Prophet then he sets him free. And all the Sahabas are shocked that how could the Prophet set free an enemy who has killed so many Muslims? And they were shocked. At the decision of the prophet. 同じ3日目にまた同じ質問と同じやり取りが繰り返されアマアマは自由になりましたその様子を見ていたサハバたちは非常に衝撃を受けましたそのまま towards the date prampi and then he washes himself and later on he comes back to the prophet and then he says the shahada That there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So, the story of 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 the of any human being in this world was the face of Muhammad And today, the most beloved, the most loved, the most liked face in the full world of any, of any human being, it is the face of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Then he said, Before, the most in the world, 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 という宗教であったイスラムという信仰であったが今日からは最も愛すべきものがムハマド預言者様の導く宗教であると申しました。Sumama says that before the religion which I hated the most, which I disliked the most, was the religion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Islam. And today, the religion I like the most, the religion I love the most, is the religion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that is Islam. Before, the city I hated the most, the city I disliked the most, was the city of Medina, that the city of the Prophet. Today, the city I love the most, the city I like the most, is the city of the Prophet, that is the city of Medina. また、以前は最も嫌いな、最も憎むべき町は預言,者の預言者様の町、マディーナだったけれども、今は最も愛すべき町がマディーナであると言いました。He said, the last three days that I stayed here, I could not believe my eyes seeing the companions of the Prophet like Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Abu Bakr, all these and the way they loved each other and the way they respected the Prophet and the way they obeyed the Prophet. ここ3日間、私は自分の見たものが信じられませんでした。サハーバたちがお互いに尊敬し合っている様子、またサハーバたちがムハマド預言者様に向ける敬愛の様子が全く私にとっては衝撃的でした。He said he has not seen in his full life. Any human being loved and respect as much as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
まあまあこのような人類がお互いに愛すムハンマド預言者様が愛される様子というものは最高のものであると言いました He said, in my place, if someone gave the call for prayer in the morning and disturbed me, I would have killed the person. Here, there's a black man, Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him. He gives a call in the morning and he wakes up the people. And then he, the black man, is straightening the row for the prayer, irrespective of whether the person is white, whether he's an Arab, whether he's a non Arab. Imagine a black man touching all the human beings and the humanity between all the human beings has really shocked me. I am in this place. 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 So here from the Hadith we come to know. That because the Prophet was so merciful, even the companion were merciful and kind. And this shocked the enemy of Islam and they changed their hearts. Hadith から学ばなければいけないことは、ムハンマド預言者様は非常に慈悲深い方であり、また、サハバ同士、サハバたち同士での慈悲や慈愛、またそれが敵に向けられた時の慈愛となり、その敵が心を変えたということです。And one of the best examples of mercy. Is the Fatih Makkah, that the conquest of Makkah. And we know when Prophet Muhammad, when he came back to Makkah with a large, ten of thousand, more than 10,000 companions, and when he marched into Makkah, victory was easy. And the Muslims, they conquered Makkah without bloodshed. And when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, entered Makkah, when he entered Makkah, he said that all those who are in the house of, in the house of Abu Sufyan, all those who enter the house of Abu Sufyan, they are safe. Abu Sufyan, he was the chief of the pagan Arabs. He was the chief of Makkah and he was the leader of the enemies. So when he enters Makkah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, anyone who enters the house of Abu Sufyan, the chief of the enemies of Muslims, he is safe. Muhammad Yagensha Sama, Mecca, and Hira, and Toki, and Oshai Mashta, Abu Sufyan, so not only the side of the Muslim, and 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 the side of the Muslim, Behind locked doors, they are safe. すべての人間が安全を保障される。He says further that Rashi, the person who killed the uncle of the Prophet, Hazrat Hamza, may Allah be pleased with him, he said he is forgiven. Hinda, Hind, the lady who ate the liver of Hamza, may Allah be pleased with him. Who was the uncle of the Prophet? Even she is forgiven. また、ムハンマド預言者様のおじであるハムザを様を殺された殺した人を許す。またその遺体から内臓を食べたものも許すとおっしゃいました。The Prophet said, "Habar, the person who threw a spear at the daughter of the Prophet when she was traveling from Makkah to Medina, and later on because of that wound." An injury, she died. The Prophet said, "Habar is also forgiven." Imagine, Prophet forgive the killer of the uncle, the person who ate the liver of his uncle, the person who killed his daughter. When the Prophet came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. Muhammad the Great, when he came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. When the Prophet came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. When the Prophet came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. When the Prophet came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. One of the companions by the name of Saad, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that this is the day of massacre. And the Prophet said, No, this is the day of mercy. Muhammad Yagin Shah Sama, New Jong, he was the Gaksat no Hitmer to eat the Monogari Master, Muhammad Yagin Shah Sama, so you stay sorry, Kahonjit, what Jihi no Hidar to eat Master. This is mentioned several hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Volume Five, in Sahih Muslim, and various several hadiths about the conquest of Makkah. このことは多くの hadiths によって伝えられています
Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Allah says, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakin wa unsa wa jallakum, shu'ubaw wa kabaila li ta'arafu, inna khalaqmin dalla yastakum, inna la alimun khabeel. O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female, and have divided you into nations and tribes, so that you shall recognize each other, not that you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Almighty God is the person who has taqwa, is the person who has God consciousness, piety and righteousness. The Quran de tsutai rai te imas. Ni jin rui wa danjo pea de tsukurai rai. Sore wa tagai wa shiru tame no mono de ari, tekitai shiru mono tame no mono de wa nai. Maha Allah no mai ni oite mo kyoka sareru no wa Allah ni tai shiru taqwa no mi de aru. This verse of the Quran is the best verse on universal brotherhood which says that all the human beings have been created from one pair. We have one common great, 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 great grandparents, Adam and Eve. And we have been divided into nations and tribes so that we shall recognize each other, not that we shall despise each other. And the most honored, the only way one human being is superior to the other is not by wealth, is not by sex, it's not by color, it's not by age, but it is with taqwa, it is God consciousness, it is piety, it is righteousness. In the third part of my talk, I will be speaking about the comments of some of the non-Muslims. There are many non-Muslims who have commented on the Prophet, who is the mercy to humanity. Time will not permit me to speak about all. I will just mention a few. There was a book by the name The Hundred, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. This book was written by Michael H. Hart. And Michael H. Hart, he was a historian, he was a mathematician, and, and he was an astronaut. In this book, The Hundred, a ranking of the most influential persons in history, Michael, Michael H. Hart, an American, he lists the hundred most influential people in the world. And he gives the ranking one, two, three, four. And he gives the reasoning for why has he ranked number one, number two, number three, right down till number hundred. In his list, he names Asoka, he names Aristotle, he gives the name of Buddha, he gives the name of Confucius. But the most shocking amongst all is he gives number one to the last and final messenger of Islam to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. People would worry, people would wonder, why has this American in America, why has he given a Muslim as number one, the most influential persons in history, right from Adam till today. Why? We would wonder why. And he places Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, number three, and Moses, peace be upon him, as number 15. People would wonder that his audience, the reader, all the readers of his, most of the readers of his book would be Americans. More than 300 million Americans, they are Christian and Jews. So why should he place the person who they believe 
as the main important person as number 3 and number 15. この本の読者の大半はクリスチャンあるいはユダヤ教徒であるアメリカ人でしたその彼らにとって重要な預言者たちが日本語で電車さんがいるも下にありましたマイケルチャーツ、he that Christianity is approximately double of Islam, but Prophet Muhammad has been responsible for the development of Islam much more than Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has been responsible for the development of Christianity. Michael Hart, Christian,はイスラムの人口の倍はその当時いるけれども、マハンマデルゲイシャ様が全米の人、マスリムに対して責任を持つほどイエス、イーサ様は現在のクリスチャンに対して影響を及ぼしていないということです。He says there are two reasons. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was responsible for the ethics and the moral perspective of Christianity. And then Paul, he was responsible for the theology of Christianity and in proselytization and in setting the rules of Christianity. Whereas Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was responsible for both. He was mainly responsible for the development of the theology of Islam as well as the ethics and the moral perspective of Islam. He was also a proselyzer and he was the person who established the rules and implemented the rules of the religion of Islam. That is the reason Michael H. Hart, he places Prophet Muhammad peace be upon number one, Jesus Christ peace be upon number three, and St. Paul as number six. And we have to agree that Michael H. Hart was very bold and very truthful because we know that St. Paul is the main person who has written about Christianity. And more than half of the New Testament is written by St. Paul. Out of 27 books of the Old Testament, 14 books have been attributed to St. Paul. ハート教授はこの本の中で6番目に聖書を記載、新約聖書の記者であるパウロを置いています。このことに対して、ハート教授は非常に正直な方です。It really requires guts for a person who's writing a book in America. The main audience are American, the main people, and they know that in that country, there are so many books written against Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him. Yet, he goes out of his way, he's honest and he has the guts to agree that Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him was the most influential person in your ministry. Michael Echard further writes, and he says, My decision to place Muhammad, peace be upon him, on top of the most influential person in history will be shocking to some. And some would challenge it. But the reason I put Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is the only human being in the world who was successful in both religious and secular affairs. Hart教授は言っています。私がマハンマド 
を人類,のも人類に最も影響を与えた人間としたことは多くの人を驚かせまたそれに反対するものも多いであろうしかし彼こそが人類において唯一宗教の面および世俗の両面で成功を収めた人間なのである There was an article that came in Time magazine and we know that Time magazine is one of the most popular weekly magazine in the world An article came on the 15th of July 1974 And on the cover page, it mentioned who are the history's great leaders. So, what Time Magazine did, they requested the historians, the writers, the businessmen to comment who do they think are the best leaders in the world, in the history. Time Magazine, this is what we are talking about in the world, in the world. 週刊誌の一つですけれども、この中で特集が組まれました、歴史上、まあ、人類史上最も、最も最高のリーダーは誰かという特集が組まれました。From those who gave the opinion, many, they mentioned the name. Of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They could not resist but mention the fact. One such person, his name is William McNeil. この「タイム誌」に意見を寄せた人たちの多くの人がムハマド・ユゲンシャ様の名前を挙げました。そのうちの一人がウィリアム・マグニーになります。William McNeil is a historian from the University of Chicago, USA. And he says that if leadership has to be judged by the impact, I would say the world's greatest leaders were Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, maybe Lenin. Possibly Mao. But if you have to implement anyone today, in today's age, I would say John F. Kennedy. このウィリアム・マグニールはシカゴ大学の歴史家です。彼が言うリーダーシップがその衝撃の度合いによって測るのであれば人類史上有の偉大な歴史家です。リーダーというものはイエス・ブッダ・ムハマド・ヨゲ・ムハマド・ヨゲ・シャ様およびジョン・レノンということになるけれども現在存命の人間で言えるのであればそれはジョン・エフ・ケネディであるウィリアム・マクニール did not give the reasons for his choice but he had the guts to mention the name of prophet Muhammad peace be upon him amongst one of the greatest leaders in the ministry マグニールは自分が挙げた人たち、自分がなぜその人たちを挙げたか理由は挙げませんでしたけ述べませんでしたけれども、彼はその人類の中で偉大な人間の一人としてマハマドゥ・ユンシャ様をピックアップしました。There's another person by the name of James Gavin. He is a retired lieutenant general in the U.S. Army, and he writes. And he says that amongst the world's greatest leaders in history are Muhammad, peace be upon him, Jesus, and Buddha and Confucius. And he says, James Gavin, that Muhammad, Jesus, maybe Lenin. And possibly Mao. And in the present time, it may be John F. Kennedy. This was mentioned by James Gavin. James Gavin, American 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 で彼が言うには、存命中の人間であれば、ジョン・ F ・ケネディを挙げました。Here, James Gavin goes out of his way and places Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as number one 
amongst the world's greatest leaders in history. そしてこのジェームス・キャビンはムハンマディア元社様が一番,有一番偉大なリーダーであると言っています。ウィリアム・マキニーネッセイ、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちまたウィリアム・マクニールはその結果から見るのであればイエスとブッダとムハンマディ・ビエンシャ様と同教の開始者が偉大なリーダーだと伝えています。あなたの名前はジュール・マスメン、who was a psychoanalyst in the University of Chicago。before he gives the answer, he puts down his criteria that a leader should cater to Three things. A leader should fulfill three conditions. Number one, provide the well being of the led. Number two, provide a social organization where the people feel relatively secure. And third, is that he gives one set of beliefs to the people. Provides one set of beliefs to the people. ジョン・マックスマン、彼は心理学者ですけれども、彼は偉大なリーダーの名前を挙げる前にリーダーの要件を挙げました。その,その要件には3つあり、1つは彼の,あのリーダーに付き従う人たちにとって土地を与えること、安全を与えること、そして信,信心を与えることです。If these three are the criteria, For judgment of a great leader, he said that Gandhi and Confucius may be leaders in the first sense. And I'm sorry, he said that Lenin and Sach would be leaders in the first sense. Gandhi and Confucius in one hand, and Alexander and Caesar and Hitler on the other hand would be leaders in the second sense and maybe in the third sense. Jesus and Buddha would be leaders only in the third sense. But the greatest leader in human history would be Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who fulfilled. All the three senses. And Moses somewhat did the same to a lesser extent. Imagine a Jew in America is saying the greatest leader after giving criteria in the history was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. ユダヤ教徒にとって、マハマディオ原社様は一人の、はい、偉大なリーダーであるということです。There was a person by the name of Professor Ramakrishna now, who was a Hindu, and he wrote the book, Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. ヒンドゥの有名な人の人によりますと、ムハンマド預言者様はイスラムの預言者である。In this book, he takes the help of Hitler's words. What are the criteria that Hitler thought who is a genius? And he quotes Hitler and he says that a good theorist seldom is a good leader. 
and an agitator is much better. He has the qualities of a leader and a person who sets rules may not be a good leader. But the best and a genius is a union of all three, a union of all three, that is a person who is a theorist, a person who is an agitator, and a person who is a leader. And rarely, it's very difficult and rare to find such a combination of all three in any human being. If it's there, it will be a genius. This was said by Hitler. それを人々に伝え、それをまた指導することができることが天才の条件ですが、この3つが全て備わっている人間というのを探すことは非常に難しい状態にありますですから、この3つが全て備わっている人間は天才と呼べるのです。After quoting Hitler, Professor Ramakrishna Rao, he gives this comments and continues and says that in the person of prophet of Islam, the earth saw and witnessed this genius who had the combination of all who walked the earth with flesh and blood. Imagine Ramakrishna Rao, a Hindu, who is a professor, he takes the help of Hitler and uses his criteria and says the only person in the world who was a genius to fulfill all these criteria and was a leader was Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the Prophet of Islam. Another Hindu by the name of Divan, Divan Chand Sharma, he writes in the book The Prophets of the East on page 112, he says that in the Prophet you had the soul of kindness and, and the people got the fragments and never forgot it, those who stayed around him. George Bernard Shaw, he said that, and he quoted, that the man whose history I have read, and far from being the Antichrist, I personally feel he should be called the savior of humanity. Imagine George Bernard Shaw says and he defends the prophet that all the people who attacked the prophet and who called him the Antichrist, in fact, in his opinion, he should be called the savior of humanity. And if you read the Encyclopedia Britannica, edition number 11, it says that the most successful of all the religious personalities was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It quotes in the Encyclopedia Britannica, edition number 11, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the most successful of all religious personalities. 
例えばインスタニカ百貨店による百貨事典によればマハマディゲンシャ様は最も成功した宗教のリーダーだと書かれています。People lay an allegation that Islam was spread by the sword, and this allegation, the reply to this allegation, is given very clearly and explicitly by the Lacey O'Leary in the book Islam at the Crossroad on page number eight. The Lacey O'Leary is a very famous historian and he writes that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword, is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. Thomas Carlyle says in the book Hero and Hero Worship, he writes the book The Hero Prophet, and he says, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his hero prophet. And he writes in the book that first you have to get your sword. Every new opinion originates in the mind of one. In one man's head, it dwells alone. One man in the full world. One, one man against all the men. It will do little good that he picks up a sword and propagates it. He should first find his sword. He's talking about the sword of intellect, the sword of love, talking the sword of mercy. しかし、ムハマド預言者様について本を書いた人は言っています。ただ一人の人間が多くの人間に対したとき、そこで振りかざすべき権威は言葉,言葉であり、愛です。Lama Teen, in the book The History of the Turk, he writes that if, if the grandeur of design and the pettiness of means and the measure of results are the three criteria for a genius, then there is no man in modern history. Who can come close than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? The Ramati in your river, Tensai to Monoga, Ida in Asian to Monoga, Sono in Ariva, Ho Ho, Soste, Sono Kekani, Ote, Hakara, and Dereba, Kinda, and Yote, Muhammad, against the Samani, and Arabi, or Hito, and I took the Itemas. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as I mentioned, and as Allah says. In the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, it says, Wama at Salaka illa Ramadil Alameen, that we have sent thee not but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent as a mercy to all the human beings. The Quran no naka demo nobe rai teimas. Muhammad yo gensha sama a zen jin de, oyo zen se ozo butsu ni tae suri jihi toshite, jin 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 de no jihi no tami ni tsukawa sare ta yuguna desu. I would like to end the speech with the quotation of Dr. Adam Pearson. And Dr. Adam Pearson says that people who worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb Of peace and mercy for humanity has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born. Wa akhiru dawan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. そしてスピーチの最後をこの言葉で締めくくりたいと思います。アダンピアソンという人が言っています。アラブに。アラブの地域に落とされたイスラームの,イスラーム爆弾この愛,にも愛の爆弾、愛のに満ちた自愛、自愛に満ちたイスラームの爆弾を私は最も恐れている。サラとムスリムの方はマグリブのサラとの準備をしていただきその後にあのにクエスチョンアン,アンサーを再開いたします再開予定は4時50分あすいませんえ4時50分から5時の予定でありますそれであのムスリムの方はサラに行かれますけれどもあのムスリムでない方はこのままここであのお待ちになるか
あのお茶と飲まれて、えー、構いませんただしあの入室に関しましては先ほどと同様にあのムスリムでない方を先に入選させていただきますムスリムの方は今座っている座席にもう一度座れる保証はございませんそれからあのカメラ、えー、ムービーはちょっと撮影はあのもしお好みになりませんそれから携帯電話のバナーモードにお願いいたしますそれではムスリムの方はあの押さないように順次あの、えー、マグレムの時間はですね4時40分ですあと10分後にマグレムの時間になりますクエスチョンのアンサーは5時,か5時10分前にまた再開の予定ですクエスチョンのアンサーは日本人の方あのムスリムでない方を優先させていただきます右の方のマイクが男性左の方のマイクが女性順番に並んでいただくことになりますこの一人一つ、まとを絞った質問でお願いいたします。Have a short break for a Margaret prayer. Margaret Wills Azan is 4 440. And again, when you come back, you are not sure to take your seat again because Japanese and non Muslims are have a priority. So please bring your bags and your uh, and your everything. Okay, from that night.
Now we come. Now we come to the second part of the program, which I believe is more interesting, which is more interesting than the first part. The first part was a one-way traffic; it was a monorail. Non-Muslims in the queue, they should be asked to come in the front of the mic. So I request that there should be a lady volunteer here on the left. There's a mic for the gent on my right, and a mic for the ladies on the left. Please give opportunity for the non-Muslims to ask first. They are our guest of honor today. And after the questions of the non-Muslims have got exhausted, then we'll allow the Muslims to ask the question. それでは質疑応答の第二部に入りたいと思います。質問される方はまず最初に名前と所属をもおっしゃってください。またこの会は本日のメインのゲストであるムスリムではない日本人の方を優先させていただきたいと思います。先生向かって右側には男性左側のマイクには女性また列の中にノンムスリムの方がいらっしゃる場合はぜひムスリムの方はその方に順番を先に譲っていただきたいと思いますアッサラマレイ君、えっと、僕の名前は宮本ハンマドゥーナですイエスイエス Allow non Muslims to ask the question first. I request the volunteers that please ask, even in the ladies' section, the non Muslims can come in the front. I, I request that if there are any ladies. No, no. 繰り返しますムスリムではない方に質問の優先権を差し上げてください。今、ムスリムの方、列に並ん質問の列に並んでいるムスリムの方は、ムスリムの方に順番を譲って、後ろにお回りください。それでは女性の方からどうぞ。Thank you, Dr. My name is Yoko Ida. I'm from Tokyo. 私は Yoko Ida と申します。東京から参りました。I have a question concerning that Muhammad and the best example of humankind and, he, and his and my journey to Jerusalem. 私が質問したいことは、モハメッドが一晩でエルサレムに行ったという話についてなんですが、えー、と今どう考えてみてもですね、あの当時メッカからエルサレムまで一晩で行けるっていうことは無理だと。ロバかロマンのロマンに羽が生えていて顔が非常に美しい女性だったそういった馬に乗って一晩で飛んだそして天国に行ってモーゼとかイエスとかにもあったそこでって言ってるんですが問題なのは彼がこのモハメドが言ったことは明らかに嘘でありまあ、私たちから見ればですね、私たちから見れば大きな嘘であるわけですよね。それが大引いてですね、現在のパレスチナ問題なんかにもつながっている。で、まあ、イスラム教徒がモハメッドが行った聖地だからということで、エルサレムとあのヨルダンの,の境にあるところに自分たちの息子を立てて、えっと、紛争の火種としてしまった、根源としてしまった。もちろんあのイスラム教徒の人たちは、ね、イギリスが悪い。えー、とアラビアのロレンスが裏切ったとか英国が悪いとか言いたいかもしれませんけれどもその大元の原因というのはモハメドの嘘にあると思うんですねこの嘘を,をこんなそんなに人間にとって一番ベストエグザンプルという人がついたということはムスリムも嘘をついていいということですあの質問のポイントをちょっとあのまとめてあのお願いいたします。えっと、質問のポイントは何でしょうか。I'd like to ask you this question. You know, you Muslims believe that the Muhammad's night journey to Jerusalem overnight, and so it is a blatant lie, and it's apparent, and he lied to his people and also the, to the people in those those days, and the Kurdish people also criticized him for lying, telling such a lie. 
And then Mohammed said, and so he did it in the overnight. But people still can believe you, in the you line. Repeat, can you repeat? Yeah, do you do you believe in that? You know, just because of lie, we have so many issues in in that area. Can you repeat the question, sister? Because you're speaking Japanese, oh, okay. and suddenly you spoke English. I didn't realize when you started speaking English. So can you repeat the question, please? My question. My question. Please sit one minute, Brother Atul. Take both. Both of you take the question. Where is the director? Director is the fool or what? Both the cameramen should take the question, na? It's so easy. Such a good order. Means that both of the both of them should get us, na? Itni akal le tum logo kya? Director ki zarurat tum logo kya? Both of them question ko lo na? Baad mein jen jayega jen pe lo ekke baad ek ho raha na? Well, this is a question. I love to ask you. Why do you Muslims believe in such a blatant lie, you know, told by the Muslim in the Muhammad? It is very clear that he couldn't travel to the Jerusalem overnight. Ah, you ask me a question that why are the Muslims telling a blatant lie that Prophet Muhammad travelled to Jerusalem overnight? That's the question. Why do Muslims believe in the Muhammad's lie? If Muhammad is the best example of the humankind, should the Muslims then lie according to him? Sister, are you a Christian? No, I'm a free thinker. Free thinker. Okay, fine. You know, the Bible says that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. <laughs> Prophet Moses parted the sea. I'm sorry, I don't believe in the Bible either. You know, so you, you cannot no, convince me with I'm those giving the fairy answer. tale. I have not finished my answer, sister. Let me finish the answer, and then you can say. We believe that the prophets of Almighty God did miracles. So when Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 1, that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, it's called as night journey. He traveled from Mecca to the furthest mosque, that is Jerusalem. You saying, why do we believe in a lie? This is a miracle. You are a free thinker. I'm not a free thinker. I'm a Muslim. That's the difference between you and me. Now why I am a Muslim, you should have come to my talk yesterday where I proved the existence of God. You are a free thinker who does not believe in God, correct? That's right. Yesterday my topic was, does God exist? I don't intend giving the full talk here, it's a one and a half hour talk. So if you would have come yesterday, by now you would have been convinced that there is God and you would have been convinced that this Quran is the word of God. Now your question. Is it possible for someone to travel from Makkah to Jerusalem overnight? Even you can do it, even I can do it, by plane. Hmm. Prophet, it's a rhetoric question, huh? Well, should, would she like to translate into Japanese for the Japanese audience? No, it's difficult. Let's finish. Take too much time. Okay. So, it is, you can travel. At that time, the plane wasn't there. He traveled from Makkah to, to Jerusalem. It's a miracle. There are many miracles mentioned in the Quran. For example, Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. It's a miracle. Moses, peace be upon him, threw the staff and became into a sick. Miracle. What is a miracle? A miracle is something which cannot be proved scientifically and logically. Miracle is beyond the capacity of a normal human being. So if a normal human being something he does, which is not possible to prove logically or scientifically, it's called a miracle. If I can prove logically, it's not a miracle. Today if I say I travelled from Makkah to Jerusalem in one night, it's not a miracle. Even you can do it, even I can do it. At that time, when Prophet travelled, yes, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. So what we have to realise, that these are prophets of God. God is the creator of the universe of the human beings and God Almighty chooses a man amongst men to communicate his message with the other human beings and this chosen men of Almighty God we call as prophets and messengers of God. So as I said in my lecture, Almighty God has sent several messengers by name 25 are mentioned in the Quran, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is a miracle. For example, this Quran. 
Yesterday I gave a talk, does God exist? And I proved that this Quran has got more than 6,000 verses, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. What we came to recently about the Big Bang, about the shape of the, the fairy tale, light of the moon is reflected, the sun is rotating, which I did not know in school. All these things are mentioned in the Quran 14 years ago. Scientifically, no one can explain how can this book mention 1400 years back about the Big Bang, which we came to know just 35, 40 years back. It's a miracle. How, how, how did we come to know 14 years back that the shape of the earth is geospherical? Miracle. When I was in school, I learned that the sun is stationary, did not rotate about the axis. The Quran said that 40 years ago. How is it possible? It's a miracle. So with this, I go to prove about embryology, about botany, about biology. All scientific things that we came to know recently, 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back, 300 years back, is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. Who could have mentioned this? It is the Creator, who we call as Almighty God. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, going from Makkah to Medina, sorry, Makkah to the furthest mosque, Jerusalem, it's a miracle. And this is proving that he is a prophet of God. You and I cannot do miracles. The prophet of God, miracles are done by Almighty God through the prophet of God. Hope that answers the question. Uh, okay, thank you very much. But if the, your God isn't so great, you know, why didn't you turn the whole world into the Islamic nation? And why didn't you just snap the fingers and tell the world, you know, turn it into Muslims, you know? Then you don't have to fight. Sister and has asked a very good question. People. Ask a short question. Sister has asked a very good question. Why didn't your God turn everyone into Islamic nation by snapping? This reply is given in the Quran. God knew you were going to ask this question. I don't think so. Then how is the reply already mentioned in advance? That well, is logic. It's a coincidence. Not quite many people ask before you. So God knew you were going to ask and God knew others are going to ask. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99, that if Almighty God wanted, He could have made all the people in the earth as Muslims. But why do you, that's the reason, don't force anyone to believe without their free will. What's the Quran? Because Almighty God has created various creation. All the other creation of God, besides human being and jinn, they have no free will of their own. If all would have become what God wanted, then there have been angels. Angels have no will of their own. Whatever God says, they follow. That's a different creation. Almighty God created a different creation, the human beings, which has the free will to obey or disobey God. If God made all of us obey Him, then we would be like the angels. Then where is the test? So Almighty God created this special creation called as human beings, which have the ability to go against God or follow God. This is the test. For example, when, when a teacher teaches the students, the students appear for an examination. If the student has the textbook with them and then write directly from the textbook, then where is the test? The test is whether do they remember, do they follow the teaching of the teacher or not. So this life is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. Al-Lazi khalaq al wal hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you which of you is good indeed. This life we are undergoing, sister, is a test for the hereafter. Almighty God says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 155, Surely we will test you with fear, or with hunger, or with loss of life, or with goods that we have earned. Almighty God says, your children, your wife, your wealth are a test for you. So all this is a test for us. This is we are undergoing a test, sister. So what question you are going to ask? There are many things mentioned in the Quran. And Almighty God knows that certain people will question certain things. So that's the reason this we are undergoing is a test whether we follow the commandment of God or not. Hope that answers the question. Yes. But see the facts. Uh, no, no, so 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 what we'll do, one question. Thank you, can you ask, very much. What you can do, sister, you can go behind the queue of the non-Muslims and wait for a third chance. So you ask two uh, questions. So you ask two questions. You behind the non-Muslims. Yes, sister, you can stand behind the non-Muslims. Yes, there, 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 there.
じゃあの次の質問、えー、男性でしょうか、えー、もう一つクエスチョンお願いしますあ、おにやくあ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ、すみ、はい、ませんちょっと待ってくださいあの簡単にどういう話ですかあ、ね、えー先ほどの質問は、えー、最高の、今まで予言あ質問内は日本語でされてたので大丈夫ですねで、回答に関しましては、えー、聖書において海を割ったというモーセの、モーセ容疑者ムーセさん、ムーサ様の、えー、っと表現がありますけれども、マハマド預言者様に関わるだけではなく、預言者という,者という存在は奇跡を起こすものです。我々はムスリムなので、アンラーが、えー、奇跡を起こすということを信じています。でまた我々今の実態には飛行機において行くことは一日で行くことは可能ですけれどもムハマド預言者様の時代にはそれは不可能であったということは明白な事実でありますからムハンマド預言者様のムハンマド預言者様の旅は奇跡である昨日の神によって選ばれた人間であり選ばれた人間である預言者様というものは25人クルワンに明示されております最後にして最終のムハン預言者様であるムハンマド預言者様が奇跡を行う奇跡があったということは何ら不思議ではありませんまたそのようなことをなぜ信じられるのかと言われれば今昨日の講演にもお話ししましたけれども科学的に今現在知られていることが1400年前のクルに下されたクルアンに書かれておりますクルアンに書かれていることは科学的に証明ができるものでありまして1400年前にそのようなことを記載できるのは全ての事象の創造物であられる全能の神のみですですからメッカからイエルサレムへの一晩の旅夜の旅は預言者である証になりますまたなぜ、えー、アンラーが全能であるならば全世界をムスリムにそして全ての人間をイスラムにしないのかという質問に対してですけれどもその質問はすでにクルアンの中にいろんなクルアンの中でアンラーによってその質問がされることは想定されておりその答えも書かれております私たち人間というものはアンラーの創造アンラーの非創造物として自由な意思を与えられておりその自由な意思というのはアンラーのオーダーに命令に従うかどうかというものを試されていますもし何も考えずに全て言われたことをにきちんと従うというものであればそれは人間ではなく天使ということで人間にはその試験を受けるという才能才が能力がアンラーによって備えられていますそれわれはこの人生現世を来世へのテストとしてとアンラーにアンラーの命令を従うかどうかというのを人生を通して試されているのですありがとうございますじゃあ,あの次の,あの男性の質問簡単に、はい、あの名前と,とお願いします、はいえっと、僕の名前は西川拓也と申します22歳で今大学生です、えっと、僕の質問はあの今言ってた通りあり今の時代はあのライフは未,未来への,その来世のテストと言ってたんですけどなぜそのテストをするんですかでそして何のために天国を作ったのでしょうかはい、ありがとうございます。My name is Nishikawa. I'm a student from university.、Uh, my only question is why, this, why human beings have to go to test for here after and why There is a hereafter. Here, why hereafter is exist?、Uh, uh, you told that this life is a test for hereafter. Why there is a test for hereafter? The brother asked the question that I said there was a test for the hereafter. So, why is there a year after? Normally, when we appear for an examination, after we pass the examination, we get a reward. So, if you pass, you get a reward. If you fail, you don't get a reward. So, similarly, this life, as I mentioned, is a test for the year after, according to Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. It says, It's Almighty God who has created you. You get a reward by going into paradise in the year after. If you don't follow the commandments and you fail the test, then you get a punishment by going to hell. 
And this is the concept in most of the religion that if you pass, you go to paradise, heaven. If you fail, you go to hell. Hope that's uh, I'm so, uh, sorry. So my question is like, uh, why God uh, creates heaven? Why don't you ask in English directly? It's better. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you ask the question in English directly? <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, ask, speak in English directly. Okay, uh, why God creates heaven? To give you reward. Why, why heaven exists? God created heaven and hell. If you follow his commandment, he gives you a reward. For example, for example, if your child listens to you, give him a chocolate and you give him a reward. Correct? So heaven is a reward for the human beings who follow his commandments. And hell is a punishment for the human beings who don't follow his commandments. So he has created heaven and hell both. <coughs> so if you follow his commandment and you obey the law, you go to heaven that is paradise. In paradise, whatever you desire, you'll get. You know, here you have to struggle, etc. There, everything is peaceful and you enjoy. Till eternity. Forever. Hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you very much. Do you want to go to heaven? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you want to go to heaven? Uh, no, 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 heaven. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Do you want to go to heaven? Yeah, heaven. Heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven. Yeah. Heaven. So do you believe in one God? Yes, yeah, sure. Do you believe in one God? Yeah. One God you believe? Do you believe in one God? One God, yeah, Allah. Yes, you believe that? <laughs> Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe yeah. that Prophet Muhammad, he is the messenger of God? Ah, yes, sure. You believe? Yeah. There are, there are two things required. There are two things required for anyone to become a Muslim. Number one, you have to believe that there is one God creator, the Allah. Yeah. And we have to believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So if you believe in these two things, you become a Muslim. You enter the school of Muslim. These are the two main kinds. Other things are later on. If you believe in these two things, you can join Islam become a Muslim and later on keep on following and inshallah we will pray that you go to heaven. So would you like would you like to become a Muslim? Would you like to become a Muslim? Mm. Yes. Yes. But would you say it in Arabic what we said in English now that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Would you like to say it in Arabic? You know what I said in English now? <laughs> Ask in Japanese, does he believe that there is one God? Islam Muslim になるのに必要なのはまず信仰告白になります。その中で求められているのは神はアルアの他に神はなし、そしてムハンマド預言者様は神神の預言者である。Not so far, sister. No. I said three words. You are translating fifty words. Not possible. Don't add your own. Only ask him. Do you believe in one God? That's it. Don't add. Don't add. You will spoil everything. <laughs> Ask him, do you believe in one God? Ask him. Kami wo shinjimasu ka? In Japanese? <laughs> do you believe in one God, Allah? Do you believe? Ano, kami sama hitos to yukodo de shinjimasu ka? Hi. Yes. Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe? Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of this God. Yes. Yes. Okay, now would you like to say it in Arabic? In Arabic? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Is anyone forcing you? 
アラビア語で繰り返しますかアラビア語で繰り返すことでシャハダすることになりますおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお Muhammad, Muhammad, Abduhu, Abduhu, Warfulu. I bear witness. I, I bear witness. Witness that that there is there is no god, no god, but but Allah, Allah, and and Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is is the messenger, the messenger, and and servant, servant. servant Of Allah, of Allah. Mashallah, you have become Muslim. I'm not talking about Muslim. I pray to Allah for. I request the organizers that if they can give a Japanese translation of the Quran to the brother, and I pray to Almighty God that may He give you more guidance and put you in Jannah, so that we too can meet in Jannah, Inshallah. Jesus. We will meet in Jannah. I request the organizer that if you can take his name and phone number so that you can be in touch. Can you shake hands? And if you have any questions, you're most welcome to ask any Muslim organization here. You can write the email to me also. You're most welcome. And I pray to Allah that may He give guidance to you and put you in Jannah, inshallah. Ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Dab, dabo sir. Sir, can I just say, yeah, one more question? Ah, mother. アクシェリタイそれあああとでお酒くださいあの撮影カメラ動画はできるだけあのお下げください。いやあのじゃあ次のあネクストの方よろしくお願いします。名前と簡単なバックグラウンドと質問。お願いします。えっと私の名前は鈴木桃子です。えっと職業は医者をやっております。でえっと今日はあのこのヒジャブを着ていますが私はあのムスリムではありません。今日、今まで勉強してきてシャハーダを今日ここでしていただきたいと思ってこの格好で。すみませんその,その前にあの1つだけ質問させていただいていいですか yes. あのあママコ鈴木鈴木、uh, ドクター She was. She has been studying about Islam all of all these days, and then she's prepared to take that shahada. No. Before that, before that, she was just like to ask you. あの私は医者でずっと医学部で大学であの医学を勉強してきまして。その中ではあの豚肉が特にあの健康に悪いっていう情報はあの勉強したことがなかったのであのそれについて私の不勉強もあると思うのであのどうしていけないのかどうか先生にお伺いしたいです。Her study is not good enough to know the correct answer regarding to why eating pork is being forbidden. So,、uh, would you please answer、sure. me for that、uh, scientific、sure. reason? So, I will answer, I will say three, four sentences to translate. It will be better. Yes,、okay. thank you. Pork has been prohibited in the Quran in no less than four different places. Quran was, no, Quran, no, 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 no. 豚はですね、コランの中で4箇所において禁じられています。It is prohibited in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse number 3, in Surah Bakra chapter 2 verse 173, in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse 145, and Surah Nahl chapter 16 verse 150. It's not a high point. Allah says in the Quran, Hurrimat alaykumul maitu tu waddamu walamun kinzi, wa ma uhilla li gare la bi, forbidden for you for food, ah, dead meat. Blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken. Butani, 
血肉,血肉,血肉,血肉,血肉血血血血血血血血血血血血血血血それからアンナー以外にアンナー以外の名が唱えられてものそれからアンナー以外のものに捧げられた肉は禁じられているとポークイズ also prohibited in the Bible in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 8 in the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse number 5 as well as book of Leviticus chapter number 11 verse 7 and 8 wow three places mentioned just it it's prohibited in the Bible let's come to the logical reason scientific reason why pork is prohibited じゃあ,あの科学的になぜ豚肉が禁じられているかということですけども Today, science tells us that if we have pork there are chances of having more than 70 different diseases 豚肉を摂取すると70以上ものさまざまな病気にかかる確率があると Pin worm, round worm, tape worm, you name it, it is there 医学用語わかりません You being a doctor, you might have learned in your medical college something like tinea solium. You know tinea solium? Tinea solium is a medical word for tapeworm. Repeat, tapeworm is called tinea solium. Tapeworm? Ah, tapeworm. Tinea solium. This tinea, tinea solium, even if you cook the food very well, the ova does not die. あの加熱してしっかり調理したとしてもそれはその季節は死なないといった場合もあります。はい egg, うん、でその季節の卵があの胃に残ってそれがやがては脳にまで行って。It can go to the eye and cause eye blindness. であの盲目を can go to the heart and cause heart damage. 心臓病の原因。Can go to the liver and cause liver damage. And this is very dangerous. By the time you know you're suffering from this disease, there's already irreparable, irreversible loss. There is one more disease called as tinea trichuriasis. Tinea trichuriasis is the medical term. Tinea trichuriasis. Do you remember something? Which year medical college are you in? Which year? First, second, third. Which year is she studying in? Medical college. What year is she studying in? She finished. She finished. She graduated. She finished. She finished. So we learned in medical college about tinea trichuriasis. It is a worm that stays in the human body and causes damage. Today, science tells us that when you have pork, it has more of fat building material than muscle building material. That when you have pork, it has more of fat building material than muscle building material. The pork has got fat building material. And that's the reason you have atherosclerosis. You know atherosclerosis? In Japanese, I think for atherosclerosis, you say atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis means a fat is deposited on the vessels of the blood vessels. Atherosclerosis. It's a medical word. And you have hypertension. Hypertension, high blood pressure. By having pork. Mashallah, you understand. Huh? And that's the reason people, people who eat pork have got a lot of tires, you know, a lot of fat. And today science tells us that the pig stays in dirt and filth. It eats dirt and filth. It's a filthy animal. And it's the only animal that enjoys seeing its wife, its mate, having sex with the friend. It's a shameless animal. Most shameless animal on the face of the earth. And these are the few reasons why we Muslims don't have pork. So that you and Muslims are not going to eat pork. I understand. Thank you. I understand. Inshallah, you won't have pork. From today, you won't have pork. Today, you won't have pork. I don't want to eat pork. Mashallah, very good. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes. Yes? Yes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. 
Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No. No. You are doing out of your own free will? MashaAllah. I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear. Bear. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is. That is. No God. No God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant. And servant. Servant. Servant of Allah. Of Allah. Mashallah, you become. Tadbir. Allah Akbar. Tadbir. Tadbir. Allah Akbar. Inshallah, pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that may give you more hidayah and may go to Jannah. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala through you, let your family members and your friends and many Japanese thousands of Japanese are coming to Islam. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will give you more hidayah. Inshallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will あ、早川義之と申します。教師をしています。早川。ええー、私はえっ、ー、とイスラムムスリムではないですが、イスラム教には多くの共感を持っています。But I feel a lot of sympathy towards I I feel a lot of sympathy towards Islam。そこで一つ教えていただきたいことがあるんです。えっ、ー、と、えー、もし。大規模な戦争が起これば核兵器が必ず使われ、えー、核の浮遊等により人類が滅亡するのではないかと多くの人たちが心配しています。はい、続けてください。それでえっ、ー、と核拡散今年の拡散核拡散防止条約では。えー多くの国が核兵器の禁止に賛成しましたが、核兵器を持っている国はみんな反対しました。えー、結論が出なく誘拐になってしまいました。えっと質問のポイントをお願いします。はい。それでこの問題に対するイスラムの立場からのご意見とそのご意見の元になったクラーンないしハディースの、えー、書いてある場所箇所を教えてください。あ、えっ、ー、とこの。この核,核兵器禁止に関するイスラムの立場とこの根拠になった、えー、クルアンないしハディースの書いてある場所を教えてください。はい、ありがとうございます。The brothers posed the question <coughs> that today, after science has advanced, we have nuclear weapon, and nuclear weapon causes mass destruction. And many countries got together but did not come to a conclusion that we should stop having nuclear weapon. He wants to know where does the Quran or Hadith say that not to use nuclear weapon? Is the question. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Point number one. Yeah. Point number one. All these country coming together and telling others don't make nuclear weapon. All these are superpowers. They make the nuclear weapon themselves and then tell others not to make. First, what they should do is destroy the weapon they have and then ask others not to make. It is hypocrisy. The big superpowers, America and all, they have their nuclear weapon. They make nuclear weapon and tell others not to make. It is double standards. If they really don't want any country to have nuclear weaponry, first they should destroy their nuclear weaponry. 
all the countries that have nuclear bomb should destroy the nuclear bomb and come together and say that there should be no nuclear weaponry, then I'll agree. They want to maintain their nuclear weaponry and tell others not to make so that they can bully them. This is double standard. And the worst attack, the biggest terrorist attack in humanity on anyone was on Japan in Hiroshima on the 6th of August 1946 where more than 350,000 human beings were affected. A few hundred thousand human beings died in a few minutes. This was the worst attack on human being. I call it the biggest terrorist attack. Done by whom? Done by USA. Done by America. Talking about peace. They are not doing war for peace. They are doing war on peace. See you again. Nihon go ni はい、え、核を持たない、え、共に書かない、核を持たないでいいよという条約を結ぶにあたって、それがあの結論を見ず、お腹になってしまったという話ですけれども、その上で、あの、イスラムの立場をまたコラーンやハディスの天気を教えて
あなたにあなたに問いかけているのであのギリシャ神話とかいうのは結構ですから。ただですね、私はあの神が一人はいいと思うんですが、あのあれは、あのイスラム教は新しい科学の進歩を取り入れてないので。<笑> <あの>、<笑> あの、ま、マホメットが最後の預言者というのはちょっと問題があって、新しい預言者が必要になるのではないかと考えています。あ、he ニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニューニ
Miki Mizunuma, Miki Mizunuma, Miki Mizunuma, Miki Mizunuma, stay in Tokyo, uh, uh, employee in the, an employee at the company. えっと、アラブ諸国とま欧米とかなんですが、ま文化とか生活習慣の違いによるイメージの違いでこうやはりなかなかこう溝ができていると思うんですが、お互いが近づくためにはどのようなどのようなどのようなどのようなどのようなど
given to the last and final messenger, which is the future world constitution. It's a common code. Tatoeba, Kaisa, Oke, and Daiga Shaw, you may see the side, Niho, Sony, the Mede Show, Sekai Juni, Shisha, and Ariona, America, the other, those that are some of them are going, Shisha Gariona. Shachu are still this. ですから社長の一人の指示のもとに例えば制服がみんなどこにいようと同じ制服だったりですとか同じ社訓にあるいは社内のルールに従うというように世界中どこのどこにいようともどこの誰であれ同じ唯一の神を信じることでその唯一の
my question is before that she he said I do believe in one God and I do believe that the Muhammad is the last messenger of God uh, so the question is what is the necessity of taking Shahada because in the world there are many Muslims who have gone through taking Shahada many of them are good but at the same time many of them are not good and uh, also in this, at the same time there are many Japanese who have not taken any Shahada however they are very good so what is the necessity of sh taking Shahada? The brother asked a very good question what is the necessity of taking Shahada? Point number one that if you believe there is one God and if you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God peace be upon him you are already a Muslim you don't have to say in public oh, it's between you and Allah Okay, sure. Correct? Right. So if you take halas, you are a Muslim. <laughs> but, 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 yeah. I personally prefer that if you tell others, it's easy for you to practice. Time for salah. If no one knows, then maybe today you say, okay, I'll miss my salah, no problem. If you tell, it is better, it's easy for you to practice. If you think by telling your life is in danger, then don't tell. But if your life is not in danger, better you tell because it becomes easy for you to practice. If they know you're a Muslim, then they'll tell you, okay, come for salah. If they don't know, they will not tell you. If you're a Muslim, they say, yeah, salam alaikum, peace be on you. If you hide, how will we come to know? So telling is better, so that it's easy for you to practice and easy for us to help you and you to help us. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, uh, but, uh, you understood that? Mm -hmm. You understood? Mm -hmm. Yes, he understood. But Therefore, if you don't tell anyone, suppose the time for Salah. Mm -hmm. If I don't know you're a Muslim, how will I call you? Now, when you come to Salah, in, if you pray in congregation prayer, you get 27 times more blessing. If you pray alone, you get less blessing. Sorry, so I'm sorry, sorry. Hi. Translate the first thing also. Yes. You have said that you have already believed in the Lord, and the Lord of あの、唯一の神の使徒であるということを信じておられるならば、すでにあなたはもう もし、え、その、Suppose there are 10 Japanese who come to ask questions and I request them to say Shahada. If they don't say Shahada, 100% help. Mm -hmm. If they say Shahada, 50% go back, 50% stay. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. So at least 50% chance he will go to heaven. I'm doing a favor for him. Mm -hmm. People tell me, why do you force? I'm not forcing. I'm coaxing. I'm requesting. Why I'm requesting? <laughs> because I know, because I love you. Oh, thank you. I wanted to go to Jannah. If I don't, on the day of judgment, God will ask me, why didn't you request this Japanese brother to say the Shada? Oh. Correct? So when I'm saying the chances you will be 50%, even 25%, no problem. Better than 0%. If I don't say, you will continue, okay, I believe in our God, I believe in Muhammad, don't believe, you go and you don't. 
you don't practice, you don't pray salah. Now when you say shahada, slowly, slowly it increases. Okay, now I've said the shahada, so some Muslim will come and say, okay, why don't you offer salah? They start offering salah. After a few days, okay, why don't you give charity? Why don't you help others? So by saying shahada, I do agree with you. 50% may go back, no problem. At least 50% will stay. If 50% I'm saving you from hellfire, Alhamdulillah, on the day of judgment, you'll thank me if you say the shahada. You'll thank me. Translate. あの、ゴアリの I want to be with you together in one one more question. Okay. Uh, so, shahada o suru to, shahada o suru to, if I shahada, and then I get to uh, ten of your keep place, Sorry? Uh, <laughs> heaven to ticket, no? So, so in the... Oh, no, 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 シャハダしなくてもいい人間がいて、これでちょっと自分には理解ができないんですけども、そのシャハダだけで切符を得られるっていうのは自分の中ではありえないんじゃないかとちゃんとした心でもってシャハダをすればもちろん天国に行けると思
、えー、4つの条件を満たさないと天国には行けません例えばマザー・テレサのような非常にチャリティーに多く励まれた素晴らしい人がおられましたけども、えー、コロアンの第103章にあるように思考の唯一の神様が言っておられますが時にかけて誠に人間は喪失の中にあるただただ信じて良い行いをしお互いに真理を進め合いお互いに辛抱を進め合う者たち以外はと言われているように信仰良い善行それから真理をと他の人たちをいざないかけることまた辛抱へといざないかけることという条件を満たさないと、えー、天国入りはできないと。There are six subjects compulsory to pass English, history, geography, science, six subjects. I pass in five. In maths, I get ten out of hundred. Fail. Will I pass the standard ten? Tatuba, Daigaku, Nushino, Shkenga, Arimas, Roku Kyoka, Hisno Kyoka to Ste Atta to Shimasho, Lexia, Sugakia, and Kokoya, Ego desto. で6のうち6のうち5科目までは100点満点ですでも1科目数学だけはうまくできませんでしたそしたら入試合格するでしょうかしないと思います No, he, he wouldn't get success That is the reason all four are required Only good deeds is not suffer Iman Saying Shada is one of the things Then good deeds Then exhorting people to truth So only Shada is not sufficient but If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you don't take shada, the chances are zero. So, this is a good thing. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. ということはいけないことも。It feels good. I love you, brother. Please, more, more. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Thank 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 you. 信号があの答えたら信号です。Yeah, ね、Muslim, I think. <笑> oh, good. I know it. I know it, but I want you to declare it. いやいや。あもう一つ、シャハードしてもやっぱり良くない人間はいっぱいいますね。あの自分仕事柄多くのムスリムとそれ人あのありますけども、いい人間も本当にたくさんいます。あの正直リスペクトしてますムスリムを。ただ良くない人間もいますね。ただ自分が思うにはムスリムは確かにいいけども。悪い日本人もいい人もいれば悪い人もいる、まあ、ただの何だいうか人間ですよねその人間なわけでそのシャハードをすれば、えー、きあきそ天国へ行けるというのはどういうことなのかなっていうのをちょっと教えていただきたいなと思います<笑>同じ質問されてませんかああすいません<笑> He's still, still sucking around the, he's, still, he's still saying that those who have taken shahada among Muslims that are good and that are Not good one. I agree. He be. He should be I, the good one. I'm dealing with that many of them. Correct. Which is my business. I agree with him. Yes, and uh, among Japanese non-Muslims, there are many good people. So, 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 Uh, are they also could be able to enter Jannah? No. Paradise? If they are not good Muslims,、yeah. if they don't follow these four things, they shall not enter Jannah unless Allah forgives them. If、no、Allah wants to forgive it, otherwise, normal circumstances, they will not go to Jannah. 基本的には先ほど申し上げた4つの信仰と善行と真理の進め合いと真理の進め合い。But Allah is merciful, can forgive them if they have the ticket. 
can forgive. As Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4, 116. If Allah pleases, he may forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk, of associating partners with God, he will never forgive. という どんな罪でも許しなさると言われているということでシャハ、天国国学することで唯一の神様は許されるother sins you do, little bit bad and cheating and all, God can forgive. The major sin you stop, biggest sin because he's your creator. You have to love him, you have to respect him. This sin of shirk, associating partners, if you don't do, the chances of going to Jannah is very high. This is the Tashin Suhai to you, it's one of the most important things. In the case of the Uso Tsuita, the Dwarf of Shazga, so it's one of the most important things that you have to do in the world. え、その一番大きな罪を取り除くさえすれば天国に行く確率は確断に高くなるというわけです。殺人とかもいいですか?ごめんなさい。で、イブンキリングピープル?ソリ?イブンキリングピープル?シー、チャンスアラウンドフォ
なんですかあの名前だけのムスリムにはならないでくださいと深刻学をした以上これからさらに良きムスリムとなられる,なられることを期待してますありがとうございますインシャーラーインシャーラー Sister, can we have the next question? Can we have the next question from the sister side? A non Muslim sister. There are sisters having the same questions. Two sisters having the same questions. Okay, no problem. No problem. This is Shihoya Mamoto. My name is Ayaka Fujiwara. I work for a company. I have a question about. <laughs> I have been wondering why, what's the purpose of God, God's God's creation of human being? What what does He need for us? And I watched YouTube your um your lecture, and you said you answered that we all chose to be human. But before that, why God created human? As an option for us. Yeah, yeah. Very good question. The sister said that what is the purpose of our creation in this world and why did God create human being? Human being is one of the best creations of God. All the other creation, for example, angel. Angels always obey God. Whatever He says they obey, they have no option but to obey 100%. We human beings, Almighty God gave a free will. You can either obey, Or you can disobey. So we are a different creation. Yes. That means all, all the other creation obey a God 100%. We human beings have option of obeying or disobeying. Now, angels pass. Mountain is Muslim pass. And human beings have two options. If we obey after free will, we become superior than the angel. Okay. After free will, if you obey, you become superior than the angel. After free will, if you disobey, then you become like the Satan. So Almighty God asked, Who wants to become a human being? The Quran says, We were fool. The teacher says, No examination, I'll just give you pass 40 out of 100. Those who appear for examination can get 95, can get 60, can get 10. Correct? Those who don't appear for examination just pass 40%. We were fools, the Quran says. Mm -hmm. We wanted to get high marks. Okay, I'm appearing. If you know your subject well, what will you say to the teacher? No, no, no 40. I want 90. Mm -hmm. So we were fools that we opted for the choice. Mm -hmm. Allah says in Surah Araf chapter 7 verse 172 that Allah got the loin from Adam alayhi salam, peace be upon him, got all the children asked, who is God? We agree there's one God. Then the memory was washed. See, when teacher teaches you, you have the textbook. But during the examination, the textbook is taken, correct? Yes. You can't have the textbook and sit with the examination. Then where's the test? Mm -hmm. So we agreed. The mountains were afraid. We human beings now, what is the purpose? The reply is given in Surah Waqiyah. Chapter number 56. Chapter 51, verse 56. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ that it is Almighty God who created the man and the jinn, not but to worship him. So our main purpose in life is worshipping God. Worshipping God means obey him. Mm -hmm. Worship doesn't mean only prayer. Prayer is one type of worship. But if you obey the commandment of God, you are doing worship. Almighty God says, don't kill other innocent human beings. You don't kill. You are doing worship. Almighty God says, love your wife. If you love your wife, then you are doing ibadah, you are doing worship. Mm. Almighty God says, you have to respect your parents. If you respect your parents, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Almighty God. So that is the reason, if we have a common code, as the sister asked earlier, if we have a common rule, all will be peaceful. All will love the parents, all will love their wife, no one will. So then that is the only way peace can be in the world. Somebody else says, why to spend money on your parents, they become old, put them in old age home. This is not commandment of creator. This is commandment of Shaitan, Satan. Oh, why you want to help your neighbor? Quran says, Surah Maun, help your neighbor. If you don't help, help your neighbor, you're not a Muslim. 
the prophet said he is not a muslim he is not a muslim he is not a believer unless the neighbor is safe from him means if the neighbor is afraid of me i am not a muslim the neighbor can be a non muslim the prophet said if you sleep with your tummy full and your neighbor sleeps sleeps hungry you are not a muslim if i have my proper dinner i sleep and my neighbor doesn't have dinner he may be a non muslim i'm not a good muslim yes i understand but before that why human is the option for us human or angels I we chose i gi- no i gave you an example teacher is saying to the full class if you don't appear for examination 40 out of 100 if you appear you can get 90 out of 100 95 out of 100 50 can get 10 also do you understand teacher is giving an option if you don't appear for examination 40 marks just pass you know 40 is the minimum for passing mm. so if you don't appear for examination just pass if you appear you can get 90 can get 95 can get 70 can get 40 can get 30 can get 10 can get 0 mm-hmm. so we human beings opted that's what the quran says we were fools do you understand yeah that's right okay. ंगड़ी <laughs> 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 the children are test for you. god is giving you wealth do you give charity if you don't give charity means you're not a good human being yes, yes. so all these are test sister the wealth your parents your wife your children so if you follow the commandments of god you pass and you get 90 95 i understand maybe you get 60 yes. but if you get below 40 then your choice was wrong mm-hmm. then you go to hell do you understand so, yeah i understand but why the test exists why god made the test ंगल distinction first class second class correct yes. so so you have to ask the teacher why why are you giving me test teacher because only by test can she tell you whether you have got 80 marks 90 marks 70 marks 50 marks you understand mm, yeah so this is the test sister we are undergoing and in the test what do you try to do you try and follow the rules and regulation of the textbook correct right. when you are appearing for a mathematics test or a science test yeah. you read the science textbook and what is mentioned the boys law this law is there newton law you study and you implement same way the textbook for living our life is only one textbook small na no? see nursery first standard to 12th standard so many books there is only one book yes one book and another few hadith about 12000 hadith this and that put together khalas full life textbook so if you read this and you implement this inshallah you will pass maybe 80 maybe 90 maybe 95 correct sister mm. but why what does god benefit from the test ah very good very good question new question <laughs> <laughs> what does god benefit very good question mm. for example i say allah akbar allah is great what does god benefit by me saying allah wa akbar allah is, allah cannot become greater is already the greatest he cannot become greater whether i praise him or not why what the allah i'll tell you quran says in surah anam quran says to anfal that it is allah who is free of all bonds it is we human beings who benefit for example for example now suppose your mother has a heart attack and one person you know he is a famous doctor very famous he gives advice and another common man on the street gives you advice 
Which advice will you follow for your mother? The heart specialist or a common man? If your mother has a heart attack, お母さんが、あの、心臓病になってしまって、え、同居止まって、あの、心臓病患ったと。その時に心臓外科医の専門家に頼るか、それとも一般の人に頼るかどちらですか。ドクター。ドクター、ハートスペシャルベリーフェム
the person is overfilled with joy. But would you like to say in Arabic, sister? No, 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 Ashadu. Don't Allah and Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger is the messenger and servant and servant of Allah. Of Allah. Masha sister, you're a Muslim and the last being Allah Akbar the being These are tears of joy. And when anyone takes a shahada, I get little bit of little bit of judgment that how well the person will practice. How dedicated is he? We try and take shahada as many as we can, but Allah gives a little bit of idea. Okay, this sister is more committed. This sister less committed may become more later on. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sister, that inshallah Allah gives you more hidayah and grants you jannah. And may you help other Japanese, other family members to come to Islam, sister. And I request the I request the Muslim sisters that see to it that if she has any need, if she has any requirement, you fulfill the requirement, inshallah. Jazakallah, sister, inshallah. Thank you. Where is the other sister? There were two sisters who asked the question. Huh? I thought I'll kill two birds with one stone. Sister, you have some question? Or were you convinced? Thank you. Sister, were you convinced with the answer? Of course. I'm feeling a wish I knew Japanese, you know? I know. 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 I couldn't understand because it was in English. <laughs> Can you translate a little bit? <laughs> a whole bunch of speech? <laughs> <laughs> no, ask her that does she... Her main question was that why are we here? Mm. So did she get some answer of it? Was well, some you translated, I believe. Yeah. Why are we え、神の言葉を受けて、あの、神の言うことを全て 100% 60点だけじゃない、合格点だけじゃなくて、70点、80点、90点、100点も得られるという可能性ができますよね。なので人間はそのチャレンジを受けたということで、人間はこの、この世界で、え、神の命に従うか従わないかのテストを受けていると。
ということでしてでじゃあ神様は人間がその神に従うことで何,か何らかのメリットを得るのかといえば決してそんなことはありません例えばあの神の偉大さを称える上で私たちムスリムはその賛美,賛美を唱えます「アラーフ・アクバル」「アラーフ・ザ・グレイティス」「アラーこそ最も偉大なお方と」とでもそれによって神様はさらに偉大なお方になるでしょうかいえもうすでに偉大なのでそれ以上偉大さが増すことはありませんで他,他もしかりであくまでもメリットを得るのは私たち人間なわけですということで、えー、神様が何かメリットを得るわけではないのですであくまでも、えー、じゃあどうなのかといえば人間も含めて被造物は神の被造物神が作られた存在なので人間がよいその神に従ってそして天国に入れるなれば喜ばれますこれは間違いなく喜ばれますですけれども直接的なメリットを得るわけではないと Thank you. <笑>納得していただきましたかって言うんですけど<笑>、so、納得していただきましたかはい、yes Thank you very much yes. Sister, do you believe there's one God? <笑> yes Believe Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is here? I know. Yes. 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 これはの訳を読ん,で読んだりなど勉強してくださいますか、はい、あ勉強したいと思います。Yes, I would study. Inshallah. And brother did a good job, mashallah. <笑><笑><笑>、えーえー、と,と申します、えー、と会社員です。Tatsuya Sakaki, I'm an employee at the company. I'm not sure if 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 I'm Try to establish their state, their country. <coughs> There is a question that how do the Muslims try to establish their state, the country? We want to follow the commandment of Almighty God. If where we stay, we are able to implement the commandment of God, this is the constitution of the Muslims. If we can use this in any country, if we can implement the commandment of God and the authentic hadith, that becomes the Islamic state. If everyone follows this law, what is mentioned in the Quran and the authentic hadith, that becomes a state which is called the Islamic state. We are the Muslims who are the only ones 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 who are the only ones. えー、コロアンという神の御言葉が集められ収められた書それプラス、えー、信憑性たる預言者モハンマド様の伝承原稿録それに基づいて国づくりを行うことでその国はイスラムの国となるわけです。What we find in the media, people talking about, you know, I'm doing jihad, I'm doing Islamic state, all is not correct. If it matches with the Quran, it is correct. If it doesn't match, it's not correct. Many a time we are misguided by the media. 私たちが日々最近聞くようなイスラムの名を語る国ですとかそう,そういったものものものは全て間違っていますなぜかといえばコロアンや預言者の原稿録に従っていないからですあくまでもコロアン預言者の原稿録に従って初めて正しくイスラムの国になり得るわけです質問に続きがあったんですがどうぞ、えー、どうぞそのイスラム国なんですけれどもあのやり方はもうムスリムのそれではないとして動機がそんなに間違ってたように思えないんですけれどもあのスニ派の方々ですかあの政治的に抑圧されていて、まあ、あのうん正義の観点から言えば国を作っても許されるような立場にはあったのではないかと思うんですがもしイスラム国というのがあのようなあのムスリムが祝福しないようなやり方ではなく
コーナーに基づいて国づくりをしたとしたらそれは私たちは祝福するべきだったということでしょうか私たちあらムスリムの方ですかあムスリムでなくてもあはいはい、えー He says, I wasn't actually finished my question, but I have a following、uh, regarding、uh, state code IS, Islamic State. The, the, I understood that their way, their methodology is wrong, not Islamic way. However, their、uh, intention, the intent purpose of establishing such state wasn't、uh, really wrong to me. Because they have been under the pressure, under the to tortures, and you know, under the evil treatments and everything. So, if, if only if they had been established their country according to、uh, following the Quran and Sunnah,、uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it be appropriate for us, all of us, including Muslims and non Muslims, to bless their acts? The brother said that what we see about IS and ISIS, they aren't following Quran and Sunnah, maybe they have been, they have been persecuted. But if they follow Quran and Sunnah, it's correct. I said, anyone who follows Quran and Sunnah correctly, he's on the state path. But what we see in the media, we don't know whether it's right or wrong. I don't trust the media. But if the information we get that if any Muslim kills any innocent human being, it is totally prohibited. Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse 32 that anyone kills any other human being, whether Muslim or non Muslim, it is killed all of humanity. So, what news we get, we don't know. But if they are killing innocent human beings, it is not an Islamic state. Because, because Almighty God prohibited the Muslims from killing any innocent human being. Do you understand? I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to そのどんな団集団であれ、コルアンと正しい預言者の伝承、原稿録に従って国づくりしたならば、それは私たちが祝福すべき存在となるわけですが、基本的に私たちはメディアで見聞きするようなものは、まあ、メディアを信用しないですけれども、えー、人,人,あ人を殺めるものは、あたかも全人類を殺めたに等しいと、先ほどもあの引用しました、コルアンの第5章32節にありますように、えー、そのような間違ったやり方でやっている限り、決して祝福された国とは言えませんありがとうございます Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much. Next question. 次の質問どうぞ今日はありがとうございます Thank you very much for today. ね、お名前をあ、えー、と東京都から山田千夏と言います千夏山田さん東京、はい、ご所属はそれご所属は所属は東京に住んでますあ,あいやいやあのお勤め会社員の方ですかあ会社員ですあ、はい、あ She's also an employee at company. はいえー、と先ほどのお話を聞いていてとても分かりやすかったですありがとうございます It was very、uh, plain to understand so thank you very much for that My pleasure. 全人類に向けて、えーとまあ、25人の使徒あ,あ,あ,あと25人の預言者そして100人の使徒を使わされて、えー、と神は全人,全人類を救いたくて、えー、慈悲を持って見てくださっているということだったと思うんですけれども歴史を見ると1000年以内にはそういう預言者などが出ていたと思われます。えーこれから先、まあ、ムハンマドが亡くなられてから1400年経ってると思うんですけれども今あの先ほどもありましたように核戦争が起きそうとかあの人々が必ずしも幸福だと言えるような世界ではないと思いますでその中で神はどのようにこれからの地球をお作りになろうとお導きになろうと思われているのか教えていただければと思います。よろしくお願いします、はいえー、ちなみにあの125人ではなく1万2500人と伝承ではあるという話ですので、ね、伝送しておきます。えー、she was saying that the,、uh, I enjoyed very much of、uh, your explanation that Almighty God had sent 25 named prophets,、uh, the messengers, and other、uh, 125,000、uh, messengers in, in tradition. And others, 
Uh, however, those prophets and messengers have been sent and worked hard to to make betterment in the world in before a thousand years. So after the past, after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam passing away, uh, now we are facing in the world of difficulties, a lot of challenges, having nuclear weapons and so on. Uh, human beings are in danger. So my question is, what uh, would you please tell me what God intends to uh, bring the people, bring the humankind to us? The sister has a very good question that Almighty God sent several messengers, 124,000. Last Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the last 1400 years, many changes have taken place. Now war is taking place, nuclear weapon is taking place. What is God now planning? What, what does he want to do? What you have to Almighty God knows what is going to happen in the future. So all this he predicted in the Hadith. If you read the sayings of the Prophet, how the world is going to end has been predicted that people will make tall buildings and they will compete with each other. Now you know the tallest building is in Dubai, Burj Khalifa, second tallest Makkah Tower, now one more is coming. All these predictions are there. So, all, so that's the reason new messenger is not required. What's going to happen is already mentioned in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. And even the solution is there. It says that again, again when what will happen, it says that the Muslims should be on the truth. The full world will be against us. We know that. So, this, these are predictions given. We don't require a new messenger because Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, peace be upon him. And all the guidance required for the human beings is already there in the Quran. What we have to do is we have to follow the Quran. Irrespective of what happens in the world, good, bad or ugly, we have to follow the Quran and we are undergoing our test. God will not ask us why are the other people killing? God will ask you, did you kill? No. Did you try and stop them? Yes. So we have to follow the guidance of the Quran and the Sayyidi to pass in this test. とても良いご質問くださいました。え、え、え、え、Have you read about Islam? Have you read about Islam? Have you heard from your friends anything about Islam? A little. So what you have heard, do you like it? Whatever you have heard, do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Yes. Yes? Do you believe there is one God? Yes, one God. Do you believe? Yes. Yes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Muhammad is the messenger of God. Believe? You believe? Hi. Yes. So these sisters are the two things for any human being to enter into the fall of Islam. 
These two things are major thing for anyone to become a Muslim. この二つだけが、この二つこそが、えー、イスラムの、えー、家といいますか、イスラム家族、イスラムの範疇にどんな人であれ入っていく上で欠かせない二つの要素なわけです。もあ、もともとあのその二つは信じています。あ、はい。オリジナリー、I have already been believing in those two. So, b i l m a s h if you are believing, then are going to be already a Muslim. もうムスリムなわけですね。そうですね。Yes, I am Muslim. She's a Muslim. That's true. No, no. Did she become now or she? もう,もう以前からムスリムだったわけですかその二つは信じているので。あ、えっ、ー、と、信仰家としてはしてない。はしてない。あ、uh, she has already been believing in those two, but I have not taken the shahada. Would you like to take the shahada? 信仰家されます考えます。Uh, I would think about it. No, if she believes these two things for so many years, for so many. Now, now if you believe there is one God, if you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, then you have to accept it and then go ahead. I believe that this is an issue of the distance between myself and my God. あの先生が言われたのはもうすでにこれまでにもうこの2つの基本的な根点を信じてきてこられているのならば、えー、もう信仰告白をなさってあのまあ、今ご自分でムスリムですと言ってくださったわけですから、信仰工学をきちっとされることで、より良いムスリムになる確率がぐっと高まるわけでして、でもそうでないと、その確率は約束されないですね。神が最終的にはジャッジを下してくださると思うので、信じます。それを信じます。Uh, I believe that the, the God would give me a judgment finally. Sure.、Uh, もちろんですね。So, inshallah, I pray that Allah gives you Hidayah. But if you are convinced, my question is that she's convinced, but there's one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. I'm going to ask you to ask me 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 to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask me to ask you to ask me 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 to You don't have to say the shahada between you and Allah. Allah, the Lord, 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 the Yes. That's me. That's me. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Allah. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. If you can say in Japanese, I bear witness. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you. I bear witness. アンナーの他に神はないということアンナーの他に神はないそしてムハンマド様がそしてムハンマド様がアンナーの使徒でありアンナーの使徒でありしもべであるということしもべであることタクビールアンナータクビールアンナーハーザータクビールアンナーハーザー You say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he grant you jannah and inshallah may he through you get also other Japanese to Islam アンナーがあなたを手に入れるということ And I request the Japanese wallet I request the Muslim volunteers if you can take their phone numbers and their name so that you can follow up with them and if they have any difficulty they have to help them. So I request the lady volunteer sisters to take them. If you want to follow up with the people who are in the world, please follow up with the people who are in the world. Please follow up with the people who are in the world. Please follow up with the people who are in the world. Please follow up with the people who are in the world. Please follow up with the people who are in the world. Please follow up with the people who are in the world.
いろんなお教えをありがとうございます。えー、私はあの韓国から来たんですけど、韓国でイーサンジュンと言います。それで、あのーえー、日本では事業の今計画とかをしにこちらに来ています。はいえー、と宗教についてちょっと素朴なちょっと疑問なんですけれど、I have a simple question on religion. あの韓国と今北朝鮮とは今休戦中であの同じ民族で分かれてますよね。As you know, a Korean people between North and South are separated, although、uh, the war has been stopped for a while. 同じあの民族だったのね、同じ民族だったのが、えー、資本資本主義と。共産主義が入ってきて、それで二つに分かれて、まあ喧嘩っていうことで戦争が起きて、あの分かれた分かれました。で私のあの母は北朝鮮の人で、えうちのお父さんは韓国の人です。Uh, although we were same nation, but because of the politics、uh, stance of difference,、uh, I my お父さんっておっしゃいました。あうちの父はあの北チェジュドあの韓国の一番南の島のなんですけど。お母さんが来たじゃん。え、そうです。あ、母が。My mother is from North Korea, but my father is from South. So likewise has been separated because of the political issues. えっとイスラム教とあのキリスト教の歴史とかちょっと聞いたときに、あのアブラハムの子孫があのキリスト教とあとあのイスラム教に分かれたと聞きました。When I heard about the religions of Abraham, Abrahamic religion. The, the descendants of the Abraham has, has been、uh, developed those、uh, Christianity and Islam. あの神様が望まれているのかちょっと疑問なんですけど、まあ、それについてどうしたら戦争をしないであの2つの国が仲良くなるのかそういう疑問を持っているんですけど、まあ、宗,あの宗教の方々にそれをちょっと質問いたしますどうしたらいいでしょうか I am hoping that one day、uh, my, our na- my nation will be united together one day、uh, soon my question is、uh, again asking you the God's will、uh, How, without making war, could we could be coexist in harmony? Brother, the question that how could we coexist in harmony without making war? It is by following the Quran. If we follow the Quran and the guidance of the authentic Hadith, we can, co- we can coexist. And live peacefully throughout the world. This Quran is the future world constitution. It's the most positive book in the world. It's a fountain of mercy and wisdom. It's a guide to the erring. It's a hope to those in despair. Hope to those in despair. It's a solace to the suffering. This is the last testament of God. If you follow this, there will always be peace. 答えはズバリこのコロアンに従うことによってです。コロアンかつ、ごめんなさい、信教戦たる預言者ムハンマド様の原稿録に従うことで、争いを起こす,起こ,すことなく、えー、共存することができるはずです。このコロアンという書は、これこそ未来における世界憲章となると言えると思います。かつ、これこそは絶望にある人たちにとっての希望であり、苦しみある人たちにとっての慰めなわけです。Because this Quran says you have to love your neighbor, you don't have to fight with him. It says you should not hurt anyone, that you should not rob, that you should not rape. All this is mentioned here. Quran, なな Quran Have you read about Islam? イスラムについて読んでこられましたかいやあの、読んできてません、あの今日、いろんなことを教えてもらって、ありがとうございます。読んではこられてない。コランについてはとかも、今日、初めて聞きました。ああ、いろんなことは。I only heard about Quran today, only today. So, 
I request the organizer, if someone can give a Japanese translation to it, so inshallah you can read it and implement on it. I said, あ、ミスレムじゃないです。あの、これに来るから一応。あ、uh, her question is, I haven't seen any woman Islamic scholar on surface view. How she's saying, she's asking, I have not seen any woman, any lady who is Islamic scholar on the TV or on, on any uh, surface. Sister so, is there any of them? Sister, oh, she, she has not seen any asking, lady on the stage. Can a woman be those yes. scholars? You have not seen any lady giving lecture on the stage. Sister, normally when ladies give lectures, it's preferably that the ladies only are there. Like my wife, she has given lectures in several parts of the world. But when she gives lectures, only ladies are there. Now, what do you want to say? You don't want to see the women. For example, my wife's husband, I'm going to give a lecture in the country, but at that time, when I'm going to give a lecture, Normally we believe in modesty, like how we are sitting here, gents and ladies are sitting separately. Gents and ladies sit separately, we believe in modesty. That's the reason when ladies give lecture, it's preferable Islamically that only ladies are the audience. ですので、あの女性のイスラム学者が講演をするような時というのは、女性だけが聴衆になるということがイスラム的にも好まれているわけです。Next time when I come to Japan, inshallah, I'll get my wife and she'll give lecture to the ladies, inshallah. 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 私が次に日本に来る時には、妻を連れてきて、女性の皆さんのためにお話をさせていただければと思います。Inshallah. Sister, have you heard about Islam? Islam, you have heard about Islam. 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 Yes, I know. Do you believe there is one God? Do you believe there is one God? Do you believe there is one God? Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. Yes. Masha, you already dressed up in hijab, sister. サポートしますよ。もしシャハダしてムスリムになって、もっとこう今も勉強中ですけど、いろいろ勉強して、こう自分の中で矛盾が出てきたときに、ムスリムをやめようって思うかもしれないって思って、その時はどうしたらいいのかわからなくて。She is not confident enough in herself that. When she takes shahada and becomes a proper Muslim, she is uh, afraid of the case, perhaps in the future, when some question comes up to her mind and then uh, she suffers from that, can't understand why and so on. So once, if she happens to wish, oh, I wish to quit Islam. Questions even come in my mind today. Questions even come in my mind. Quran says in Surah Anbiya chapter 21 verse number 7 and Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 43 First Allah is zikri in kuntun ta'alamun 
If you don't know, ask the person who is knowledgeable. So if any question comes in your mind, you have to ask the person who is an expert. For example, if you get sick, who do you go to? You go to a doctor. So if you have any questions on Islam, you have to ask a person who is an expert on Islam. ご覧の中にももしなんじらがわからないことがあるならばそれをより良くする専門家に尋ねればよいのですこれは何か疑問が生じた時には例えば病気の時医者に聞きませんか一般の人に聞きますか医者ですよねということで疑問が生じた時には
と犬が好きなんですけど。I like dogs. I like dogs. Dog, dog. Sister, see what you have to understand. What you have to understand if you stay. See, many people will be shocked. What is Dr. Zakir Naik saying? <laughs> He is telling to the non Muslim, you can have four. This is a Sharia ruling. Let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. The small loss is, I'm telling you, okay, continue with pork, though it is wrong. I'm not saying it's right, but telling you to prevent from the biggest sin that is shit. So I'm using the Sharia and telling you, okay, continue pork. Maybe Allah will give you hidayah after a few days, after a few weeks, after a few months. But at least you stop shirk today. Believe in one God Allah. Believe in Prophet Muhammad. Stop the alcohol. And the pork and dog can come later on. I am going to tell you about Islam. I am going to tell you about the Islam. I am going to tell you about the Islam. I am going to tell you about the Islam. I am going to tell you about the Islam. I am going to tell you about the Islam. I am going to tell you about the Islam. I am going to tell you about the Islam. I am going to tell えー、より大きな損失を招かないために、えー、より程度の少ない損失を、えー、すごい甘んじて受けるというようなイスラムの法規定にのっとったお話をしているわけだ,だけですのであくまでも、えー、多神崇拝をまず立っていただいてアルコールを立っていただいてそれから、えー、豚肉を食べるというのはそあのステップバイステップで何年後かという話なわけです。Because, sister, if you don't believe in Allah and the Messenger, you cannot go to Jannah. If you believe in Allah and the Messenger and have pork, yet there are high chances. You know, and I care for you and I want you to go to Jannah. That's the reason, hope you can continue. Maybe after a few weeks, a few months, Allah will give you hidayah and you stop. But now at least agree there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the Messenger. Become a Muslim and slowly, slowly you can keep on improving your practice slowly, slowly. So, the most important thing is that you don't believe in the Lord and the Messenger. You don't believe in the Lord and the Messenger. You don't believe in the Lord and the Messenger. You don't believe in the Lord and the Messenger. You don't believe in t Sister, wearing the hijab is more important. You're already wearing a hijab, mashallah. Many girls give shahada and don't wear hijab. You're wearing hijab. Dog is secondary, no thing. Hijab is more important. So, mashallah, I think that you're already a practicing Muslim. あなたは素晴らしいムスリムイスラムを信じる女性としての実践をされているわけですよ。ヒジャブ、かぶりもするっていうのはとてもイスラムを信じる女性としては大切なことなんですね。あなた実践しておられるじゃないですか。中にはムスリムでありながらヒジャブをかぶっていない方もたくさんいるわけですから、すでにあなたはそれをもう実践しておられるということで、素晴らしいと。あなたのことを気にかけていますから、天国に行っていただきたいので、いかがですかはい。ああ、でも、ちょっと暑がりで。<laughs> ちょっとこれ辛いんですけど、でもあのこういう式の時とか、あとマスクで勉強の時とかは頑張ってつけてるだけなんです。I'm trying my best now because I, I'm basically I'm not I'm I don't like the humid you know atmosphere. It's good. That's what I'm telling you. Just to keep the atmosphere of wearing hijab, that means the heart is very good. That's what I'm happy about it. I know for a lady to wear hijab is difficult, so that's what's impressing me. That means if you accept Islam, inshallah, you will follow everything very fast. That's what I believe. ですからそのあなたがすでにその頑張って、えー、ヒジャブをかぶっておられること自体が私にとって感動的ですと。女性がヒジャブをするのは大変だと分かってます。でもそれ,それすらも今頑張ってしとられるわけですから、きっとあなたがひとたびスラムに入信すれば、その学びも成長度合いも早いことでしょうと。確信しています。マシャラ。The tears of joy, sister. 喜びの瞬間じゃないでしょうか。Sister, let me be sad. 信仰告白されますか。マシャラ。This is real. This is real. This is the help from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I say in Arabic, and you can repeat it. Ashadu. アラビアを続けてください。I shall do. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Sure. Do you want to eat? 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 Do you want to eat?
イルカとかクマとかイルカとクマ普通食べますか<笑>ちょっと食べてみたいんですシザーアスキン Could I be able to eat dolphin and bears? I have a, yes, I have a curiosity to have dolphin no problem. Dolphin, dolphin no problem. 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 Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa ashadu Wa shahadu Anna Allah Muhammadan Muhammadu Abduhu 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 Wa rusuluhu Wa rusuluhu Wa rusuluhu If you can say in Japanese, I bear witness 私は証言します私は証言しますアンラーの他に神はないということをアンラの他に神はないということそして私は証言しますそして私は証言しますモハンマド様がモハンマド様がアンラの使徒でありアンラの使徒であるシモベであるということシモベであるということタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタ And make you practice as much as Islam possible, and make you help other Japanese to come to Islam. The Gaku wa Shiko no Anna ga anata wo sara ni michibi te kudasare shukuku wa taite kudasare koto wo inorimas. Tengoku e irete kudakere yo inorimas. So shi anata wo toshite hoka no hito dachi ga michibi karere yo inorimas. Anata wo kanitachi no tasuke to nare yo inorimas. Ano namae wo tsukete moremas ka? She's asking you to name her. She's asking you to name her. Give her Muslim, Muslim name. Muslim name. Okay, sister, you can keep your name as Aisha. <laughs> Aisha was the Aisha. name. Aisha. <laughs> See, mashallah. Amongst all the people who took shahada, even they were genuine. I feel. See, you also want a Muslim name. So that is what Allah helps you, mashallah. And may Allah reward you, inshallah. And I would suggest you can keep the name of Aisha, which was the which was the wife of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Aisha. So, how many people have been called to be a prophet? There are many people. But, in the midst of it, you have been asked to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. You have been encouraged to be a Muslim man. ありがとうございます。Are there any brothers from your one non-Muslims? A non-Muslim brothers? A non-Muslim sisters? ミミシントの方っていらっしゃいますか。Any sisters who are non-Muslim? 女性の方でムスリムでないという方。質問それで質問したいという方。男性じゃない。Any sisters who are non-Muslim? Okay, no problem, inshallah. Any, any brothers who are non-Muslims? Okay, we can, we can take a couple of questions. We have the order until 8 o'clock, so we'll take a couple of questions from the gents and from the sisters. Yes, brother. So at least Muslims should not complain that they don't get a chance. People complain that Muslims don't get a chance to ask questions. But the Muslim question question goes a bit fast. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan. Waalaikum assalam. I'm a computer engineering student. My question is, I have a question regarding the right of marriage in Islam. In case of both men and women are Muslims, believing, practicing Muslims with good characters, capable for living together, then is there any problem for Muslim parents to refuse such a marriage? If the girl and the boy are Muslim and they're practicing and they want to marry, but naturally you shouldn't convince the parents. The parents are the elders, so it's preferably that you take the advice. But many a time some of the parents want rich, yes. beautiful. So you should tell them a beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that whenever any gets anyone gets married, if, when he chooses a life partner, he looks for four things: wealth, beauty, nobility, and virtue. The best among them is virtue. So give this hadith to the parents 
and if she's a virtuous girl and a virtuous boy, then they should go ahead. And virtue is the best out of all these four criteria for marrying a spouse. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Can we have the next question from sister's side? I request if, that if the brothers can stand. Can all the brothers stand? All right. If the sisters can stand, so I know how many are there. Yes, sister. Oh, uh, Ask all the brothers to stand, so I know how many are pending. If you can stand, yes. Yes, sister. Okay. Um, th thank you for the, um, the very precise, uh, very clear uh, lecture. Jazakallah, sir. Yes, um, my name is Jannat Siddiq. I am a Muslim. Um, I became a Muslim in 2005 um, after marrying a Bangladeshi husband of mine. And, and mashallah, I have an eight year old daughter, Hadija. Um, again, mashallah. Um, okay, now, um, now finally, um, this is my time to ask a question. Um, okay, um, well, it looks like um, I would like to ask you. Uh, your opinion um, about this? Um, I have seen uh, like several videos of uh, fake halal um, animal fighting in the in the Middle East. Oh, and um, like fake halal, um, fake halal uh, meaning um, what well, you are supposed to slaughter the animal um, in the way of Quran, but it's not doing it. Um, it's actually um, they are electrocuting the animal, um, which uh, which make the um, well in that case um, I saw a sheep suffering when they die and um, and why is it um, I wouldn't want to say allowed but why is it getting so common these days and um, I have also seen the picture of um, animal fighting in that case um, two goats are fighting and um, and actually um, uh, these Muslims the local Muslims are eating them and uh, why is it um, why is it uh, why has it been practiced um, I would like to um, ask you your opinion about this Sister asked two questions that she has seen videos in which there is fake halal. So why is it being practiced or allowed? Sister, if it's not zabiya, according to the rules of the Quran and the Sunnah, it is haram to have that meat. Why it is being done? Because now halal business is becoming a very good business, you know. And in Japan also I found many people have a halal business, halal business, you know. So for business some people do it and some of the non-Muslims also do it. We as Muslims we should see to it that as long as it is following the criteria of Quran and Sahih Hadith, no problem. <clears throat> but if they are not following the criteria of Quran and Sahih Hadith because they want to make a fast money, then it is not allowed. So we should discourage such things. Regarding animals fighting, I know during the Bakri Eid or Eid al Doha, the children normally get goats and the goat fight. It's all. It is not encouraged. It is wrong for goat to fight. But some of the children do that. It is wrong. So we should not encourage that the animals should fight among themselves. But if some people are doing out of ignorance, we should guide them. And in Islam, the zabiya should be made according to the guidelines of the Quran and the Sunnah. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. No, yes, sir. Excuse me. Jahar to what you want to In in the table, Gandhi Gandhi Zawa ga yume desu ga. My name is Susa, Jafar Susa. Uh, India is famous for its Gandhi's River. Ga Gandhi's or Ga Gandhi. Gandhi. Gandhi River. Yes, so uh, what, it, what is its position in Islam? Brother asked the question that India is famous for Ganges River, what is the position in Islam? In Islam it's just a river. <laughs> <laughs> Almighty God says he sends water from the sky and leads it into sources, it's just a river. In, in Hinduism, it's known as a holy river. In Islam, there is nothing, only thing what we believe is in Zamzam. You know Zamzam in Makkah? That we believe is pure water, that's holy water. But the other thing, it's just a normal river. Ganges River, and it is just like any other river. Hope that answers the question. Islam in the Oite, Gandhi's river is just a normal river. The other thing is that Muslims in the Oite, the other thing is that 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 the other thing is that
Two shots. Inshallah, we'll have the last two short questions. One from the sisters, one from the brothers. Can we have a question of sisters before we end the session? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Imam, a homemaker, Masha. a rebirth Japanese Muslim, who was really against Islam before, but alhamdulillah came to this right path through watching your lectures on the internet. Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept it. Alhamdulillah. So one of your sessions before you explained about the people with the disabilities. Uh, they may be the test for their parents or themselves in this world. But how can we think of those people who are born with a both gender characteristics as nature, like both men and females characteristics? Because God created uh, creatures in a complete perfect way and in Quran that there is clear cut of men and women. Um, these people not always have enough capacity to have the like operational surgery or a facility or money. So how can we think of these phenomena in Islamic perspective? Sister asked the question that she has heard my tapes and she has been impressed. And she heard that when children are born with disability, it's a test. She's asking what about those people who are born who are bisexual? That means they are both the sex. They are girl and boy together. Sister, as far as my knowledge goes, the majority, almost all, the people who are such type of people, both the sex, they have been manipulated. They aren't born in that way. After they are born, there is certain surgery done, or they do certain things, and then they are converted. They aren't, they aren't congenitally born male and female together. Hermaphrodite. It only happens afterwards that there are certain communities, there are certain group of people which do an operation after birth and then they convert into a, they convert into a sex which is of both the genders. So this is the, the blame will not go on Almighty God, it will go on the human being system. But like, yes, uh, some people have the perception after they are born and society changed their mind. But some people born as a nature by both physical characteristics, so I'm confusing about this. As far as my knowledge goes, most or almost all happen later on. By birth, no one is a hermaphrodite. No one is born with both the sexes. It happens later on, sister. Hope that answers the question. Thank you very much. Yeah, the last question. Thank before you. Before we end the session. My name is Malik Habib Guru Rahman. I am correspondent of the uh, World Muslim Congress in Tokyo of Islam. Uh, actually, my question is in continuation of a question from one of uh, the Japanese friends. He asked you about the Islamic State. Now we have a big issue, it's recently, in the name of Daesh, ISIL, Taliban, and Al Qaeda. May I know what is it's the real issue and what connection it had? Because they claim they are fighting for a state, Islamic state. That's ISIL. Brother, Daesh, this Taliban question has already been asked and the answer has been given. I will repeat the same answer. When you heard the question, you're asking the same thing again. I told you, if anyone claims to have an Islamic state, if it's following the Quran and Sunnah, it's on the correct side. If it's not, then the wrong side. If someone kills any innocent human being, it is against the Quran and they cannot be an Islamic state. My, I think I haven't got... Brother, can we have the next question? Please. Brother, the question has been asked about and the answer has been given. Brother, the question has been asked and the answer has been given. It has not been answered satisfactorily. Tell me on the next question. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I want to ask about your, your opinion regarding gay rights and LGBT, LGBTQI rights. Thank you. Brother, I said, what is my opinion regarding gay rights and LGBT rights? I find Islam, there is no concept of gay and LGBT. If someone wants to be, it is again a deviation. All this that you find is because when you don't follow the law of Almighty God, for example, we believe in segregation of sexes. 
you go to the western world according to statistics of usa a person has eight different sexual partner before he settles down with one so now when you break the rule and you start doing fornication start doing adultery what happens you get tired of it then you want to go more and then you start having sex with the same sex no one is born as a gay there was a theory which says that gay are congenital later on it was proved that the person who said this theory himself was a gay so there's nothing like a person who's born being a gay congenital these all theory so when you break the rule of almighty god you don't practice hijab you don't follow the rules and and you don't have segregation of sexes then you get tired you overdo the thing which are haram then you want to do bestiality you know bestiality best are having sex with the animals then you start having sex in the wrong way then you start having lesbian then you start having gay all these are deviation when you keep on deviating you want something new and new and that's so that the reason the psychology is tell that a person who doesn't have extra marital affairs he enjoys the sexual married life the best in islam we can only have with the wife with a lawful wife and husband when you keep on breaking this rule okay let's have a live in partner okay let's just have fun the moment you start having all these things you break the rule of god and you start deviating and all this in islam there is no room and this is all unnatural hope that answers the question thank you sir wa akhir da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin takbir どうもありがとうございました。えー、質問はまだ続くんですけども、えー、あのあのはいあのもうあの時間になりなりましたのであの申し訳ありませんけどもあの二時間の時間が過ぎましたけどもおかげさまでたくさんの質問をいただきましたありがとうございます。それではあの閉会の辞としまして、えー、日本モスリム平和連盟代表の。名門モハマド・アンワルさんからクローズのメッセージをお願いします皆さんどうもこんにちはサラマリ今日は長いセミナーを来ていただいていろんな質問していただいてありがとうございますもうあのこのセミナーは今日は第8回もう8年間あの東京大学の特に長澤先生のご協力をいただいてやっておりますそれの目的はイスラムの布教とかではなくてイスラムと非イスラムの人たちの間にブリッジをかけてあの特に誤解とかはクリアするというのが目的でありますでまああの今日は午前,あの午前じゃない第一部ではヤングムスリムあの若い青年の日本人ムスリムのパ